Stretch and a stretch. Oh, ah, oh. mm. everyone join me. Stretch, it's good for you. <laughs> and knowing the kind of people I hang out with, you probably haven't stretched recently, huh? <laughs> oh. Being stretched like a cat, yes, exactly. <laughs> Hi there, Kina. How you doing? Welcome, everyone. Hello, hello, my dear witching flowers. <laughs> um, today I'm I'm starting uh, Seventh Dragon Three. Doing good. I'm doing great. <laughs> I I'm I'm looking forward to playing through this game again. It's it's one of those games where it's like I haven't played the rest of the series. I've only played this one, but I. This is, I think, one of the, the best hidden gems on the 3DS. Um, the 3DS has a lot of really good JRPGs. I think it is one of the best JRPG machines out there. <laughs> and yet, I think this one is one of those ones that I just like, it's really good. <laughs> like, just at a gameplay perspective. Stories, you know, it's not bad by any means. I like the characters, I like the story, but like the gameplay, it's some of the, like, the team building and party building aspects of Etrian Odyssey, while juggling over a Switch Remaster remake for the other games. Did, did want to do. Ooh, that would be interesting. I'd be interested in trying the other games in the series. Um, yeah, Summit Dragon 3 is a game. I Particularly, I really love its classes. Almost every class in the game feels really satisfying and really strong in its role. And I really like that. Um, I don't know, this is a game I think about a lot, and I was like, I, I like a couple weeks ago, I was talking about how much I love the Rune Knight class in particular, and the way it puts out, it's ostensibly your tank, but it actually puts out big magic damage, and I love that. Um, and I just kept thinking about it, I was like, you know what, I want to play some Dragon 3. <laughs> also, forgive the, the scuffed uh, stream 
layout. I did it last minute. <laughs> uh, no. I don't know why it's saying I have saved demo data. I this is this is on the emulator. I do not have saved de demo data, but or demo save data. <laughs> so be it. Uh, standard difficulty. Yeah, that seems cool. We get to, to build our own party, kind of like Etrian Odyssey. I didn't really plan out too much of the, the party, especially since we only unlock certain cl classes later, and the game kind of... You get nine party slots by the end of the game, and there are eight and a half classes. And a half, because Samurai has two fighting styles. Uh, so, I figure we just do what I always do and have one of each class anyway. Um, favorite tie between Dual Blade Samurai and Agent. That I feel is really underrated because if you feel the right through. Oh yeah, no, Agent is really fun. I really like Agent too. Oh, I should probably be reading this. All survey members will henceforth refer to Operation IOD to collect specimens. I repeat. I definitely remember on my second playthrough in particular, I figured out agents. It's just like, it's a really cool class. Bingo, we've got it. <laughs> I hope so. This investigation has cost us three subsidiaries, you know? However, we did get our hands on the first key. Well then, boss, what's our next move? Hmm. Hmm, we still lack military power to undertake any kind of offensive measures. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, the bait is already set. That's why we've come to this island country. Yes, thanks for that. Be sure not to let ISDF find out about our activity here. We'll have to negotiate with them eventually, but I'd like to wait until we have our pawns ready. So let me know that if audio is okay, if you want, if I should like turn things up. There's not any music playing right now, it's just the... Just let me know if things are sounds good. Pawns, hmm? I don't think finding them will be as easy as you think it will be. I'll be fine. I can sense the presence of adequate subjects in this country. <laughs> Sounds fine. Good, good. That sense is all we have to go on. Guess we won't have much choice to follow it, though. The countdown has begun. The stars are searching. Searching for the ones who will lead us to a new horizon. The dragon hunters. Yeah, we get to fucking kill some dragons. Chapter zero, the first drop. Also, I, can I just say, the the title for this game, Seventh Dragon 3 Code VFD, especially if you're not familiar with previous Seventh Dragon games like me, that is just kind of like a word salad. I, something about it makes me really happy though. I like it. <laughs> it's dumb. I, I like it. <laughs> what the hell is a Seventh Dragon? Why is it Seventh Dragon 3? There's two numbers in there. Code VFD? What's a code VFD? <laughs> At this point, you'll create your character lock as your alter ego. It says this, but then also, whoever's just first in your party is actually whoever's, like, taking control, so it doesn't need to be me that I make right here. So, we make our uh, first character here. And so, we start with access to four classes. So we have... So you go over here. We have the Samurai. I think I randomly saw Dragon immediately grabbed it to me. <laughs> yeah, I found this game, I found its demo on the eShop. Because uh, I would frequently find any JRPG demos on the eShop and try them out. I was really impressed with the game. Uh, picked it up day one. Um, I arrived there right as GameStop was opening. Because I was like, oh yeah, that, that cool game's coming out. I want to pick it up. I got there as it was opening, and they had like two copies left, because they just did not order any copies. So, lucky I got a physical copy at all. <laughs> so we have Samurai, which is a physical frontliner kind of class. Well, I, I say frontliner, but it's not like there's a line system in this game. Um, but it's a physical attacker, mostly like self-synergistic. Uh, has two fighting styles, uh, single sword and double sword. Um, agent, which has two main things they do. They either hack into enemies to, like, control them in some way or, like, do status effects and things to them, or they have really cool gun damage. They do a lot of hits with guns, and I think that's really fun. Um, God Hand, which is a 
Uh, they like inflict, they're part healer and part like inflicting the status on enemies to like weaken them in some way to like do some some big damage. Um, and Duelist, who plays Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> or possibly Magic. It, they are playing cards, they have mana, they're summoning monsters, they are playing some card game. <laughs> so, you need to pick a first party member who's gonna kind of represent me for a while. The class that I would want to represent myself with most, we do not unlock for a while. So I need to pick something else until then. And I think I'm going to choose God Hand. Yeah. You can also... The, the portraits aren't necessarily tied to the, uh, the class, but like... You know, it feels right to choose the ones that are meant to tie to the, the class. Uh, who do I want? I'm just gonna take Oh, Yuki. Oh, name. <laughs> I, I typed in the character I didn't recognize. Okay. Yes. So we're going to have Ophi here for now. <laughs> I might just, like, keep her as Ophi, and then when we get access to the mage class, uh, I'll call that one Ophelia, and we'll just have two of me in the party. <laughs> Sorry, this game is incredible. Yes, I. The art style is really, really good. I love the. Um, okay, but speaking of art, for the the one 3DS game I played on stream before, I guess. Um, the way I did my setup for like my overlay here, um, for that was I did key art from Etrian Odyssey, put that in the back, and then had like some extra stuff on the side here. I could not, for the life of me, find any artwork for this game that was not character art. I wanted background art. I could not for the life of me find anything. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll, I'll figure something out to make it just a little bit more visually pleasing next time, but... I mean, it's not like it's bad. I did just put the character art on a white background, though. <laughs> character art's good. Uh, basically, nothing is really con... Yeah. Dude, it's insane in there. Those dragons look so real, I thought I was gonna die. Damn it, I wanna play. A ticket to this place is the most prized thing in Tokyo. No way you'd be lucky enough to get one. What did you just say, you bastard? Let me just make sure there's not any options I wanna do. And poor you. Also, there's something very satisfying about the, the run cycle and just the, like, the little bounce to it. <laughs> I don't know, I always found that very amusing. <sighs> I don't really... I don't know if I want to go in alone, but I did come all the way here. Oh, I'm in your way. Sorry. She's my little sister and I will protect her with my life. Welcome to Noden's Enterprise's supremely popular tourist attraction. Seventh and count. Those who wish to enter must show their daughters... <laughs> their tickets to proceed. Brain is thinking about daughter. <laughs> daughter, sister. She's, she's family and I must protect her. Those who wish to enter must show their tickets to proceed. I can't let you in without a ticket. Please come back once you get one. Um, excuse me, can they come in with me? Uh, that's an S-Class special invitation ticket! 
My deepest apologies. Please go right ahead. I'm sorry for coming out of nowhere like that. This is my first time here, so... I was wondering, do you think maybe you'd like to join me? Would that be okay with you? Sure it's okay? Of course. I I'm so relieved. It's kind of neat to see, see this place. Uh, see the, it's always neat to play like a 3DS game on an emulator, um, and to see it like in not like shitty 3DS resolution, <laughs> right? To see all the the models kind of looking kind of clean, it's always cool. Wow, I heard rumors about this place, but it's even more amazing than I imagined. I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Mio Nagumo. What's your name? Alfie, huh? Do you want to... <laughs> Not a crunchy 3DS quality, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm alright, I promise. This happens to me all the time. Should we play the game together? <laughs> really? I'm glad you asked. Thanks, Alfie. Oh yeah, I got a new high score. I'm going for A-Rank next time. So this is the seventh count. Oh, there's even a navigation mode. I think I can handle that. Uh, Ophi, uh, um, I... Do you want to play? Mm-hmm. Am I that easy to read? How embarrassing. How about you take care of the offense while I neg navigate? I'll be so offensive. I'll offend every... <laughs> Sounds like fun. Really? Yay, I'll be the best navigator you've ever had. I'm ready to punch some dragons. Please deposit your ticket here. Welcome to the seventh encounter. I will begin by explaining the rules. The seventh encounter can be played with a team of up to four, three party members, and one navigator. You may register new party members at this terminal. Monster encounters can be highly dangerous, so I suggest forming a party of three before continuing. Ba -da -ba -da. Ba, ba. Cool, okay. So, I definitely was thinking adding a duelist. Choosing a voice is always kind of hard for I feel like Shori would appreciate being a, a duelist. And... Hmm. I feel like I should probably out a samurai. But I'm not sure who to name her after. like a planned name scheme going in here. I just kind of want to give them names as I see fit. So like some of them I want to name after friends and some of them I, you know, I, I don't have that many friends. <laughs> uh, I think I've got an idea. Just name some of them after uh, characters from games I like. In which case, you will be... I think that one works. Uh... 
I'm just gonna name you, uh... May, after Raiden May from, uh, Honkai Impact. <laughs> okay. And there's our party. Um, let's see what weapon you have. Okay, you have the single sword equipped. Good. Let's play some seventh and count. A game within a game. <laughs> Twenty twenty one eighty. That is the past. That is that was that was two years ago. <laughs> You're now in Tokyo, approximately two years ago. The fierce battle between humanity and the fifth dragon, true dragon, Fomalhut, reaches climax. Is this really a game? It feels like we're actually at the Sky Tower. All right, leave the navigation to me. I skimmed through the manual, so I should be okay. Um, our mission is defeat the looming monsters and liberate the Sky Tower. A battle will start once you encounter a monster, so be careful. Oh, it seems like you can save your progress using the strange lights around the dungeon. There are two colors of light, blue and green. The blue one only saves, while green also heals. You probably try and use them if you come across it you know, along the way. I think that just about covers it. Let's take a look at the map and head to the tower. Oh yeah, the music in this game is also really fucking good. Steps along. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. I think that's the exit, yeah. Let us enter the dungeon. So we can see in the upper left there, there's a little meter there. That's how close we are to the next enemy encounter. Cool. Okay, so God Hand. God Hand. Basic thing is, um, with some of their skills, they inflict G. Um, so Jab here would... I think we, we'll probably kill these enemies on one turn, but um, Jab here would inflict one G on the enemy. From there... You can then use Front Punch if an enemy has G. Or you could get another stack of G. And at G2, you could use Quartetto. And we'll get, like, more skills that, like, work on G and can inflict G and all that. Um, yeah, so they stack up the, the G and then... And then, you know, hurt them. I haven't used God Hand that much. It's one of the ones I usually didn't use in my active team. Um, but it's a cool class. I, I I I like its I like its vibe. I like what it's going for. Um, the duelist. You can see they have a little deck here of uh, two out of six cards. So they have two ice cards right now. If they had a fire card, I could use summon fire one. If I had lightning card, I could use summon lightning one. Um, if you have mixes of cards, you can summon these trap cards. Uh, you can draw more cards, and this allows you to use all of your fire cards to do big fire damage. Uh, we have two ice cards right now, so we'll just summon an ice beast. And samurai. So this is the single sword samurai. So they have the sheath and unsheath um, system, but we don't really have skills to make that work yet. Oh yeah, that might be a little bit of lag during battles. I... Just like a little bit of freezing. <clears throat> Not freezing, just like taking a moment to, to start the animation. Mana water. All this mana water, but what about woman of water? <laughs> I think we can punch them. Also, I love the animations in this game. The little animations when the... Yeah. Just, it's just when you attack.
Do you start? No, you don't even have the skill menu active. Honestly, got him purchased amazing use any class to look at the aesthetic of Bader Butler beating things up. <laughs> True. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I couldn't quite figure out how to get DLC working on the emulator, but there are a couple of DLC portraits that I really enjoyed uh, using. Like, one of the DLC portraits is, like, this, uh... It's one of the, like, uh, fox girl people. Um... And I used her on, like, an agent in my second playthrough, and just, like, she was, like, one of my favorite characters. Just, like... But seeing this little fox girl in a cloak, just, like, shooting people up with guns. <laughs> fox hat, I don't know. Eh. I say foxes because I like foxes. <laughs> their, their ears are a little, like, tall. and They look more like how fox girls usually... Or fox people are usually depicted. I guess they're also men, but, you know, I don't... <laughs> when was the last time I cared about... <laughs> when was the last time I chose to use a male character? <sighs> never. The answer is never. You can't prove it. I just have LP as a flame. <laughs> oh, you're right, they do. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna auto battle through things for now. We don't really need to, to use our skills. Ow. Simple little dungeon to go through for now. Also, this game's aesthetic is just really cool. I, I I don't know. I just really like the um. Something about the way the menus are just like kind of laid out, and like the font they use for some of the uh, UI. I, I don't know. Something about it just like really hits this uh, aesthetic that like kind of feels really strong. Even though it's like really simple, just like a lot of squares. Like it's just a lot of very, very square and rectangle menus, but it it works. Save point. Big guy! Looks like this monster's the boss. Its attacks will be stronger than anything you faced yet. Pay attention to how much stamina you have left and fight carefully. Ah, we'll be fine. I went to the next major area, it's my first place. Yeah, there's a lot of really cool places in this game. I don't remember exactly what comes next, but uh. Yeah, I think it's just all out. God. Special summoner lightning one bug. I think just die so quickly. I'm just so strong. Huh? These kids got the high score even on safe mode? Is your prediction already coming true? Not bad. Time to give them a real test. They better not let me down. Let's just keep going. God, they put me on safe mode. 
Who do they think I am? Some kind of scrub? Yeah, we'll do an expert. <laughs> she drops a pentagram. I forgot about that. That didn't do much. Oh, right, that's a three turn. Okay. I'm trying to remember how these skills work. Ow. Ow. Okay, yeah, so that keeps going over time. Got it. Uh, don't really feel the need to heal yet. I think we can just kill it. Kill it by the sword. We're close to a level up anyway. So I think. No, this this has got to be the the side path, right? No. Okay. Jab you. Some the lightning. <laughs> no, no, you killed him with the second hit. You didn't need to hit him a third time. <laughs> May just really hated that Banui. Uh, right, so that guy speaks to lightning. Okay, don't kill Shori, don't kill Shori. Okay. Also, a fun, a cool thing about this. Uh, Chiropractic. Instant. Nice. I love priority healing. <laughs> Please don't kill Shori. She is my friend. Say treasure. Guard ring. Oh, right, we have some, uh. Nagamimi charm. Uh. I think we'll put the Nagamimi charm on you. Sure. Defenses. Right now... Surprisingly, Shori actually has the best defenses. Okay, didn't see that coming. I guess you need that. Shori, you take the XP upper, I guess. Who knew the shrimp had it in her to have higher defenses than the <laughs> than the physical attacker and the healer? <sighs> that was total overkill. Powerful shrimp indeed. Also, 
<laughs> Unsurprising! <laughs> Surprising that the Vernal Witch likes the flowers that the, the dungeons are decorated with. Who'd have thunk? Who would have thunk? Oh, this is something about this game's aesthetic. It's just like... It's such a... It's like... The visual design for this region is like... I love the colors, um, how it's like... Simultaneously really, uh... Like, it, it's very much in disrepair. It feels like it's a... Actually, it's really not in that bad of disrepair. It's mostly just overrun by flowers. Uh, yeah, it's actually not, not really in disrepair at all, is it? Oh no, please. Ow. Getting shot with a gun. Who let the enemy have a gun? <laughs> Ow! Put on auto, there we go. What if I did a selfish thing and chose all the EXP and SP for myself? Do we even get gain SP yet, actually? Because we don't have the skill mini yet. I'll pay attention next time. It's an area version of the growth trip from the post level. Yes, exactly. Oh wait, Shory. Please don't die, Shory. Please don't kill Shory, dumb bug. Okay, that's good. She leveled up, so she's good. This early, I've already made all my characters have like slightly different EXP. <laughs> nature just slowly changing back. Nature make it actual aggressive. Yes, yes. Oh, hey! I will kill you. We love our... I believe this is a, a metal slime kind of enemy. And we love our metal slimes here. There we go. Oh yeah, definitely a metal slime. Wait, 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 wait. Because Shori was a higher level, she got less EXP, so now May and Opie are ahead of her. <laughs> oh, we love proportional EXP. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Shori. Oh. oh yeah, she's a lower level because I gave her the EXP <laughs> boosting item. <laughs> oh, well, I guess I can give it back to her. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. I understand why it's like that. It's because when you get more party members later on, they'll be underleveled, so they... They boost the XP so that they get on curve quickly, but <laughs> it's really funny how that <laughs> math worked out. Misu, welcome, welcome. How you doing? Uh, we just got, we just encountered something very funny. Turns out when you're one level higher than your friends, you wind up one level lower than your friends when killing a metal slime. <laughs> And by Battle Slime, I of course mean a, uh, a shiny Bunoi. Uh, was it Queen Rabby, I think it was called? Something like that. Uh, they will, they will... <laughs> They're all Metal Slimes, I can't bother, be bothered to describe the, the idea of the rare enemy that gives a lot of uh, rewards 
to, by a per game basis. They're all metal slimes. <gasps> Dragon! Wait, Ophi, this one wasn't in the manual. And it's way stronger than the other monsters you've fought so far. <laughs> Maybe you miss some- No, I'm gonna be nice to Mio. She is my- She is my- my beloved sister, daughter, whatever. I want to protect her. That's- that's what matters. She is small and I want to protect her. Well, based on its frame and dermal features, it clearly has both power and mobility, so... How do I know all this? Even I'm surprised. Maybe it's a rare monster. No matter what it is, please be careful. Let's kill a fucking dragon. Cool. Got hand. Uh... Let's set up a trap card. Thank you, thank you, just down the AV to HDMI computer converter I got recently worked off. Nice! Oh, you're not scary, Mr. Dragon. Uh... I think I can do front punch and then it should still... more summoning. Will baby dragon just a little I must murder him, Kino. He is... He is my enemy. <laughs> Got to. You've activated my trap card, you fool. And then we Cortetto. Hell yeah, we get to pull off our combo. <laughs> Big damage! I don't know if it's like more damage than other single target uh, attackers would be able to pull off, but you know. God Hand's cool. I, yeah, I feel like God Hand's in kind of the, like... It's, it's not the strongest healer, and it's not the strongest attacker, so like... You know, it, it, it does kind of have... Uh, Problems in the long term, but it's like a cool concept for a class. I really like it. I think we find ourselves to the second key. Playtime is over. Excuse me, excuse me. Good jack of all trades if you need a character like that to run out of Yeah, or jack of all trades, maybe not also quite right, but it is like it can do a little bit of both. Yeah, a little bit of support, a little bit of attack. Huh? Did we do something wrong? Congratulations, you have been chosen! Chosen? Now then, come along with me to the headquarters of Noden's Enterprises. Don't worry, we'll explain everything once we get there. I wonder what the character that's not showing up is. Um, okay, what should we do? Sounds like fun to me. Of course it does! This is your chance to open the door to a world you could only dream about. This way, please, follow me. What seems to be the problem? Please come along. <laughs> I think it's a heart or a star. Right, right, yeah, it's something like that. <sighs> well, it was showing the star properly earlier. It was showing, um, uh, what's her name's uh, star earlier. Yeah, heart, it might be the heart. Isn't it like the, I don't know. Cause, yeah, they really were scouting for high scorers. I thought it was just an urban legend. What the hell? How did someone like that beat my score? I'm just a god gamer, clearly. Hi there, Nagamimi. Let us go outside. I will lead the way to Noden's main office. I love her, she's my favorite. <laughs> God hand, God gamer, title match. So true. Oh, you're so right, Kino. Sheesh, are we really gonna have to rely on this shitty team? Um, Mr. Rabbit, sir? Mm, I'm not a rabbit, brat. Huh? Let that dumb look off your face. From now on, call me the almighty Nagamimi, got it? Not some weird doll, and I'm definitely not a rabbit. Oh, 
my name Nagamimi? What's going on? Why are you being so rude to us? Ugh, this is the real me. I hate having to act all prim and proper for work. Now, if you want to survive here, I suggest you stop treating me like some cutesy little rabbit. Or else you'll regret it. I'll personally make sure of that. Get it? Got it? Good! Regret it? I wonder what he means by survive. How long are you gonna dick around over there? Notice headquarters is this way. Come on, follow me! Let's go, team. Also, there's something very amusing about just, like, the way the party works in this game. Where, like, whoever's the lead in the party is whoever takes a uh, point. Whoever is, like, kind of referred to as you. Like, they refer to whoever's in the lead of the party as if it's been the same person the entire game. When, like... There's no reason why that has to be the case. If I were to switch, um, like, May up to front, they would talk to me as if I was the one who, like, m met me. Like, they would assume that I was the one who met Mio at the front door still, even though I'd be a the different character. It's very funny. It's just, like, the whole party is the concept of you. <laughs> Mega Mami has good retail. Work retail down to a deal. They hate it. <laughs> so true. Oh, we love Mega Mimi. This is the headquarters of Noden Enterprises, developers of Seven and Count. We only just moved from America last month, though, so it's still pretty empty. Come on, we'll be going to the third floor, the conference floor. Get on that elevator and go. I mean, he's hardly the first, like, cute uh, mascot character who has a shitty attitude, but, like, they're my favorite. I... Nagamimi's cool. <gasps> oh, right, these two girls. Oh, man, I, I love all the NPCs in this game. <laughs> this game's good. <laughs> Did you know that this game's good and that I like it? <laughs> Our boss is right ahead. Let's go, hurry up. Ophi? Can you tell what's going on? Fine, but listen closely. I'm only going to say this once. Seventh Account is no ordinary game. Rather, it's a testing device to seek out those who possess a unique ability. You mean I'm unique? <laughs> Jeez, you're a lot dumber than you look. According to specifications, you're the perfect fighting specimen, so yeah, you're unique. More importantly, you possess a very special ability, the power to slay dragons. But, but what about me? I can't fight. There are many kinds of strength. You may be absurdly weak, but you do have key navigator qualities. Me? A navigator? Back on point, this is all part of the scouting process. We're short of manpower at the moment. What <laughs> if I want to defend the dragons? <laughs> I don't think any of the dragons in this game would give you a chance. <laughs> well, maybe we'll defend a, defend a dragon real soon. So if you do well, you get me as a boss. Doesn't that bring tears of joy to your stupid little eyes? Wait, haven't dragons been gone for almost a century now? You can ask all the questions you want to the higher-ups. Come on, they won't wait forever. Welcome to Nodens! Oof, our cuties have finally arrived! Mm, smooch. What? My name is Julieta. I'm the director of the development sector at Noden. It's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> His real name is Gerardo Tamari, though. Don't, don't, you. Mm. You don't gotta, you don't gotta. No, 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 forget that name. Yeah, don't, 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 don't dead name him. <laughs> Get that name immediately. The only name I have is Julieta. That's it. I think Gerardo's a nice name, too, though. Moving on. This woman here is... Hi, I'm Allie. Her full name is Allie Nodens. Despite how she looks, she's the president of our company. Uh, what do you do here? Oh my, Nagamimi didn't tell you? My apologies. I'm sure you're very confused right now. Nodens Enterprises is the world's premier game corporation. 
Game development is just a quick way to build capital, though. Our true purpose lies elsewhere. Anyways, let's take a seat. It's time for story time with Julieta. Yes, yes, please sit wherever you'd like. Sorry for dragging you all in here like this, but there are important matters we need to discuss. Do you know the incidents of 80 years ago? The dragon calamities with 2021 and 2022? They're 2020 and 2021. Oh, 2022. No dragon calamity happened. Wait. Wait. Dragon calamities. Dragon calamities bring about, like, illnesses? Mm. <laughs> this game predicted the future, clearly. <laughs> I think I've heard of them before. I see, I'd expect you have. It began with the coming of true dragons and the spread of a poison flower called Dragon's Vein. A planet enveloped in Dragon's Vein will become nothing, doomed to be consumed by the true dragons. Oh god, this is a well well for well toy <laughs> It is said there are seven of these true dragons throughout the universe. In 2028, and the year the fall and the year following, two true dragons invaded Earth. Dragons Vein nearly engulfed us. However, thanks to a team called Murakumo, we were able to fend them both fend both of them off. My grandpa told me about them. Murakumo Unit 13, the Dragon Hunters. I'm assuming that's the previous seventh Dragon Games. I'm pretty sure it is. What's the main topic? We've learned a great deal about dragons from samples taken after the calamity. Anatomy, ecology, all this analytical data is assembled into a portfolio called the Dragon Chronicle. Our true objective is to gather as many true dragon samples as we can and complete the Dragon Chronicle. But why? Doing so will allow us to defeat the seventh true dragon, VFD. Even in this apparent time of peace, the seventh and final true dragon will soon awaken. The true dragon responsible for both creation and destruction. We call this ruler of reason, VFD. Once it shows itself, our planet will face its demise. Are you wondering how we know all this? I assure you, we are not the only ones. There are others in the know, though primarily just ISDF and world government agencies. So left of the party members just kind of stand. <laughs> Honestly, we are also kind of just standing there. <laughs> but yeah, no, we're at least seated. They are kind of just... Chillin'. <laughs> this info is simply not publicly available. However, various signs point to dragon's return. Global warming, disappearance of the Caribbean plate, and most importantly, dragon sickness. Dragon sickness. I have a friend who's been coughing. I see, so your friend has been infected too. As much as it pains me to say it, this friend of yours doesn't have much longer to live. Girl! Girl! <laughs> Allie! <laughs> oh. She's just like, yep, nope, your friend's gonna die. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> dragon sickness is an untreatable disease caused by permeation of dragon miasma. Therefore, the thicker the miasma becomes, the more people will come down with dragon sickness. <sighs> miasma has been here since the calamity, yet the patient count has shot up in the past few years. This rise serves as another sign that a true dragon is again about to descend upon humanity. I don't expect we have much time. Once the dragons come, this information will spread. The infestation will begin, and dra the dragon's bane will bloom, and to see at the end of this planet, VFD will appear. Can't let that happen. Then let's fight! Yeah, sure, you wanna fight? You wanna, you know, let's fight. Oh, you mean... We'll fight later, Allie. We have dragons to fight. <laughs> You have the power, the power to hunt dragons, and complete the Dragon Chronicle. VFD is the ultimate true dragon. Even while lying dormant, it can bring about global calamities. However, we could turn the tables if we manage to complete the Dragon Chronicle. If we can gain information about the true dragons and acquire their energy, we'll have a chance. On the other hand, if we fail, humanity will be extinguished. No. Hence, the ultimate goal of Noden's Enterprise is the completion of the Dragon Chronicle. I bet we'll even be able to find a cure for dragon sickness if we manage to complete it. But in order to do so, we'll need a dragon hunter. That's where you come in. We want your cooperation in our plan to complete the Dragon Chronicle. Code VFD. Hmm, I sort of dozed off. 
My apologies. It must have been boring listening to a girly man and his boss yammer on. Just hunt, hunt, hunt. We'll need you to hunt as many dragons as you can and collect samples from them. Where can I find these dragons? That's well. Um, excuse me. I don't think I can handle all this. I'm just gonna go home. Oh my, please don't think that way. Your navigation skills are quite advanced. There's no way I can do this. I'm not a navigator. I can't save the world. I'd probably just get in the way. Oh, girly, no. I see, if that's what you wish. No, stay here, Mio. I'm sorry, Elfie. No, stay! We must fight to save the world together! It's a shame, but we can't drag someone onto the battlefield if they have no will to fight. I ran away again. All I ever do is run. I came all the way here to try and find my dad. But I just can't do it. What? What? That sound. Hey, this is bad. Hmm? Not to Mimi. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like an old man, Julieta. It's all your fault, Nagamimi. Don't scare me like that. I don't give a crap about that. I have urgent news. A swarm of dragons has appeared outside. What? This is way sooner than we anticipate. How could this be? Hey, Ellie. Mm. Nagamimi, where is ISDF? Isn't this what an international defense force is trained for? They're heading in this direction, but it sounds like it'll take a while. Okay. Okay, seal the entrance. We'll wait out, wait out until they arrive. Nagamimi, could you be a deer and display the entrance camera up on the monitor? Got it. Oh no, Tokyo! They're attacking the people! That really doesn't look like Tokyo, though. That looks more like... <laughs> the palm trees look more like a... It's not Tokyo. They said we're in Tokyo, but this does not look like Tokyo. <laughs> No, stay back. Hey, it's that girl. I'm going to help her. I wouldn't. An amateur going out there would just cause trouble. All we can do now is wait for ISDF. ISDF, I hope they make it in time. It's taking like 80 years to see. <laughs> it's Neo Tokyo. <laughs> hey, what? Hey, where do you think you're going? Mm. Hmm, I suppose at times the body acts completely on its own. Should we go knock some sense into them? No, let's give them a shot. Are you sure? If ISDF finds out. If they truly are dragon hunters, their resolve will carry them through. I see. Time to see what they've got then. We should do what we can to provide support. Gotta go save the best girl. Exactly. Sounds like a job for Nagamimi. Oh, fine, fine, I'm going. Take me to the first floor. We've got a girl to save. Hey, wait up a sec. You're really gonna fight like that? Stupid dumb idiot. That's why I hate humans. It's impossible to know how your brains work. My force and mana have been restored? Listen up, this isn't a game anymore. Get cut, you'll bleed. Get stabbed and you'll die. This is the real world. Hope that makes it into your thick skull. Here, take this. Need some medis. Take this too. Just pop it on your arm and start it up. Hey, can you see me? This is called a Noden's Watch. It's a wonderful device that'll let you talk to me no matter where you go. This is how I'll be helping you, so don't you dare take it off. And don't tell me you don't want it. Now listen, don't forget to prepare. We'd rather not have our dragon hunters die out there. If you're gonna help, you damn well better do it right. <laughs> Navi option? I took Navi from the system menu, you can read. Yeah, yeah. Do I have any new, like. Yeah. 
always nice when a game has a, a system that's like, oh yeah, we're gonna tell you exactly where you need to go. So, yeah. Oh, hi there, dragons. Oh, that's a lot of dragons. <laughs> Why do you think people die with their <laughs> Neo, we we need to save her. Ah! <gasps> the shaky cam, the like action shot. <laughs> this game's cool. Kofi. Hello there, white dragon. Some god hand. <laughs> dragons that are big, big positive. Oh, yeah, no, the dragons are like. One of the highlights of the game is always like going around and getting to fight a bunch of dragons. Uh. Big fan of the, the part of the menu that just says dragon. Like, turn two, dragon. Very important. Uh, okay. Punch, punch. Frozen, nice. Ouch. Oh, did we? Right, it's like a random chance if additional hits apply God Hand. That's that's always a weird one. Uh. Hmm. Do some more ice. Kill the dragon. Beat that huge dragon? Are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Oh, <sighs> ah! What's that? Eh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Is it another dragon? Hey, Ophi, can you hear me? That thing's a high dragon. It's way stronger than the one you just fought. It'll tear you to shreds. Get the brat and come back now. What's wrong? No, are you gonna fight? Ophi, stop. It'll kill you. Must kill dragons. We're to save everyone. But you don't even know these people. What? Ophi. Hey, I said to run. You're trying to get yourself killed? Is this the true will of Dragon Hunter, or just the recklessness of a fool? Both. If they die here, most certainly the latter, but I believe. <laughs> There's no reply. Oh. Sometimes people are dead. We won't lose indeed. Uh, 
do supply drop. Yeah, I think we got this. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. This is totally a fair and balanced fight. Things that the little voice lines before, like boss, are different for almost every voice option. Ooh, nice. Oh, game over. That's the end. <laughs> That's the entire game. I'm sorry. What can I say? <laughs> hey, Ophi, can you hear me? That's enough. Get out of there. Get out right this instant. Okay, you really want to die here? <laughs> you know what? Form a perimeter around the target. Unit 2, see to anyone in need of assistance. So you're the ones who held it at bay. Something like that. Let me take care of this one, Admiral Yoritomo. You're still hurt. Alright, Yuma. I'll leave it to you. Come on, you're just the dude. What could you possibly do? Here I go. It's time for you to learn who the true master is. Uh -huh. Are you okay? Let me show you my true power, giving myself a headache. <laughs> no, he just punches it. It is quite impressive to kill something by punching it in the hand. Excellent work. Let's collect the High Dragon specimen and withdraw. Unit 2, return the ISDF HQ once your duties have been fulfilled. Yes, sir! Yes, we can do quite a bit for me. Thanks for that. Yeah, we did like 7 damage. They look like normal people, but I cannot be sure. And that girl, hmm. definitely gonna be on their watch list now. It's sooner than we were hoping, but it can't be helped. They would have found that eventually. Now, now, more importantly, what do you think of your first real battle, Ophi? I wish I could have won. Seriously, you did very well for your first battle. Most people would have died out there. It's a big freaking miracle you're still alive and kicking. Next time, try following orders. To think you could fight like that on your first try, that confirms my hunch. I knew I'd find my dragon hunters in this city. Yeah, you were right, though it's still hard to believe these cuties are our dragon hunters. Yeah, I think it is the hearts that are not displaying properly. Um, Ophi, thanks for saving me. I needed to do it. It's not that simple, though. Risking your life to save someone else, that's not something people just do. All I could do was stand around trembling in fear. Why? Why am I so powerless? I I'm sorry. I really killed the mood. Anyways, thank you again for earlier. I'll find a way to pay you back someday. I promise. Well, I should probably get going. Hold on a sec. You're thinking of going home in that weekend state? No one says top grade team of medical staff. We'll have them take care of all of you. Huh? But I... Don't worry about the details. Let's go, everyone. The medical team is eagerly awaiting us. Ba, ba, ba. Yeah! <laughs> oh, the dragon flowers. Gosh, this game's cool.
Nagamimi. Don't watch me while I sleep. That's, that's weird. <laughs> Chapter 1 Atlantis, Realm of the Sea. Yeah, we get right into it. Hmm, you seem to have healed at a miraculous rate. I think you're good to go. Amber! Hello, hello! Welcome, welcome! Phew, I'm glad it was nothing too major. It's amazing what you're still okay at, that you're still okay after fighting a high dragon. This is the will of a dragon hunter. I'm sure you've realized game fighting and real fighting are two very different experiences. <laughs> Amber, Amber, we, um, we played a virtual reality game where we fought a dragon, and then, uh, these guys were like, hey, so that was actually like a training program. Turns out you're a dragon slayer, and then the headquarters got attacked by dragons. And we killed the dragon. And then the dragon nearly killed us, but you know, so it goes. <laughs> uh, having said, if we wish to save humanity, we must push forth and complete the Dragon Chronicle. So like that happened to me once. <laughs> this is why we humbly request that you lend us your dragon hunting powers. Once you reach a decision, come to the third conference third floor conference floor. We'll be waiting, Ophi. And a weird guy with purple lightning powers. <laughs> True. Well, try not to push yourself too much. I'm more worried about your... Huh? Um, Ophi, are you okay? I'm so glad. <laughs> also, also, Amber, look, I'm a maid. I'm a maid. Hey, Ophi. Are you going to team up with them? I think I am. I see. I had a feeling you would. Hey, Ophi. How can you just go along with this so easily? If you cooperate with them, you're going to have to fight dragons. You know that, right? Doesn't this all just make you want to run away? Don't you ever think about that? Let's see if I should come into the main outfit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm the god hand class, which is a like healer slash pugilist type class. And where's the maid outfit? Sorry, Elfie. I'm only alive because you were there to protect me. I'm so sorry. That was really irresponsible of me to say. Girl, stop apologizing for everything, please. You're okay. You're good. I... We like you. You've done good. I should probably go now. Bye, Elfie. Try not to be too reckless. Oh. Yeah, our, our team right now is, um... Me, Ophi, as a god hand. We've got Shori as a duelist. It's like a mage class, but instead of like doing normal mage things, uh, it plays Yu-Gi-Oh! Or possibly magic. Uh, and we've got a samurai who I named uh, Mei after Raiden Mei from Honkai Impact. Uh, I, have a, I have a class in mind for you, Amber. We'll get to it later. Um... But I, you know, I'll, I'll ask you what class you're interested in next time we're adding a new character. Uh, you want a conference floor. Hi there, ladies. Yeah. I just heard from my ISDF. They want to perform an inspection on us by the end of the day. Oh my. Well, we do have things we can offer them. If we give them that... Oh. Ophi, you came. So that means your answer is... Hold on just a sec. Something we need to show them first, isn't that right, Allie? Of course. Everyone gather around. 
of the... Do you know what this is? This is a specimen from the first true dragon, Iode, who appeared on Earth 40 million years ago. Iode is the true dragon who planted the seed of life on this formerly barren planet. The seed of life became the basis for the entire human race, for all life forms in existence. It was the drop that created life in the ancient sea, the beginning of millions of miraculous events. And so humanity and dragonkind share a deep bond. The specimen from Iode showed us that much. As I've already mentioned, we are collecting specimens from the six true dragons. In doing so, we plan to complete the Dragon Chronicle and defeat the seventh true dragon, Code VFD. Look, not, co not Code VFD. The game's called Code VFD. The game's called Seventh Dragon 3 Code VFD. We are fighting the seventh true dragon, VFD. We have the specimen from the first true dragon, Iode, here in Nodens. We are also aware that ISDF is in position of the specimen in the fifth true dragon, Fomalhaut. We only currently know the locations of those two specimens. Therefore, four specimens remain. Your mission will be to retrieve them. This naturally means you will have to defeat the true dragons. It'll be quite tough. Actually, tough doesn't begin to describe how difficult it will be. So, what do you think? Will you help us carry out our plan? Operation Code VFD? I will. <laughs> the seventh true dragon, seventh dragon three code VFD. <laughs> exactly. Really? Like, really, really? I was noting earlier that if, if you don't know, like, anything like the title of the game does make sense when you know what it's referring to you know it's the third game the seventh dragon series the seventh dragon is a particular entity from the the, the story and then code vft is referring to the goal to defeat the seventh dragon but if you don't know what those mean the title of this game is just word salad <laughs> fabulous now that that's settled we'll need to think of a team name for you how about Oki Squad? Or maybe... I think they should be called Unit 13. Oki Squad's a bit odd. <laughs> then Unit 13 it is. Unit 13's the name of the team that defended the world during the Dragon Calamity of 2020. <sighs> Came into this planet to ask if Seventh Dragon was so great, how come they never made it? <laughs> Alright, from this moment on, you'll be known as Unit 13, the newest team in all of Nodens. Welcome aboard, Unit 13. I look forward to working with you. Surely this will be, be a name that brings us great luck. Yo, you guys done yet? I want to take these noobs around the office. Well done. Alright, let's have Unit 13 go for a tour of the building before their first mission. They'll be waiting for you at the portal. Hmm, so they're calling you guys Unit 13 now, huh? In that case, come with me, Unit 13. So Dragon so great. Wait, did they make an 8th track? <laughs> Hi there, Nagamimi. This is Chika. She's in charge of the quest counter, which handles all sorts of problems and puzzles. Once it's up and running, you'll be able to take quests and get some pretty damn good rewards. She's also going to be handling any and all construction requests over here. Construction's paid for with the stuff called Diz, or Dragon's Any. Diz can be used for all sorts of crap. Medical research, weapon development, building materials. As any dumbass could have guessed, Diz comes from dragons. You probably missed some on your first battle. Just make sure you don't forget to grab them from any dragons you beat from now on. Anyways, I'm sure you're going to be rolling in the Diz once your mission to get started. You give that Diz to Chica, she'll help you build new weapons and expand the facilities here. Try making a dormitory for yourselves to start. Can't have Unit 13 sleeping on the streets. Mm, a dormitory should only run you about three Diz. I hope to assist in creating a pleasant office environment. Nice to meet you, Unit 13. And this here is Rika. She's in charge of selling all the products we develop here at Nodens. Go talk to her for any consumable items or equipment you might need for your missions. Though it obviously won't be free. You earn some money and you can buy whatever crap you want. By the way, any weapons you develop using Diz will be available here. Basically, you gotta earn Diz to make new weapons and buy them with your well-deserved money. <laughs> We're such stingy bastards. I'm Rika, the workaholic. It's a nice to meet you, Unit 13. Oh crap, I almost forgot. You can warp around nodes if you press the R button on your transmitter. Pretty impressive piece of tech, don't you think? Go on and give it a try later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it for the basics. Oh yeah, there's still a few places you need to see before you head over to the portal. Meet me on the East Hall, second floor, R&D floor. Don't dawdle. Okay, we can't quite do this yet. Oh, I can do this, okay. Uh, do we want to buy... How much money do... Oh, we have a lot of money because of the demo stuff, yeah. 
All right, give me the best weapons I can get. And the best equipment I can get. Okay. So it seems this is... Yes. Down May. Sweet. And now we'll sell all the old weapons. This requires a few more button presses than I wish it did. I guess this is meant to be sold. Sweet, okay. Now, where? I think you said second floor R&D. Oh, we gotta take a... Yeah! <laughs> it's like those things at the airport. Well, at least my... <laughs> Actually, I don't know if that's a common thing at airports. I just know that my airport has those. The, the, the Portland airport. Um, has something like that, just like a little strip. There you are. Mitch, this is a new team I was telling you about. I actually don't know if that's common at all. <laughs> that's just the connection I made. <laughs> Welcome to Dr. Julietta's lab. If something's improbable, we will research it. Oh, you're the new faces of Unit 13? I heard the most improbable rumor about you. You're human, but you have some kind of supernatural power? Well, I have a secret for you. We'll help bring out your improbable abilities. I can help with all your bodily needs. Um, we're in a bit of a hurry here. Can you just hurry up and give them the damn things? Okay. Leave it to Ma. It's time for your shots. Now, Unit 13, close your eyes and keep them shut tight. No peeking. All finished. Well, how do you feel? Pretty good, yeah? Your mind has cleared. Obtain a thousand SP and some SP ups. It's time for you to get a new skill. Go, go, go! Check your skills using the skill option on the main menu. Yeah. So, yeah, we can upgrade our skills kind of like Entry and Odyssey. So, if you look here, we can see. Uh, we do get access to more skills as we go. Um. Yeah, let's see what we've got right now. Uh, so, we already have Jab from Punch Quartetto. Double Hook and Spinning Edge. I think I want Spinning Edge. You know, lowering the enemy's defense sounds pretty good. Ambush Stance, Counter Stance. And here, I think... That's a... Yeah. I think that's a buff I apply to... I don't know if that's the self or an ally, but either way, I want it. Um, I think powering up Quartetto, which is like the damage dealer here, sounds good. I guess I'll take double up. Alright, Shori, what do I want you to learn? Uh, learn how to lay a fire world trap. And yeah, I think learning the ability to summon particular cards in your hand sounds good. And you, May, are going to be a like single uh, blade. Gonna learn how to buff your own attack. Going to learn powerful drop. And I think that's kind of. Okay, I guess you can also learn this. Okay, uh, where did I do? Okay, now we're going to the portal. Chapter one. It's in here. Ah, oh, they're finally here. 
Welcome, Unit 13. This is Tessic, your Noden's core technology, the portal system. If you remember, we asked you earlier to retrieve the four remaining two dragon specimens. Didn't you wonder how you're going to do that? There aren't any on Earth right now, after all. Right? Well, this here is your answer. It's a small-scale spatio-temporal transfer device. Try not to be too surprised, but in other words, it's a time machine. Hey, didn't I say don't be surprised? How could you expect them to not be? Giulia used so much money to research this that he bankrupted several of our small subs. <laughs> bankrupted several of our small subsidiaries. But Ali, something count is ranking huge profit. That's all because of this portal research. You know that, right? <laughs> don't worry, I don't blame you. I'm just speaking the truth. Jeez. Anyhow, you guys will be using this portal to travel into both the past and the future. In each time period, you'll stop the true dragon invasion and bring these specimens back to us. It's a great plan. Wow, your enthusiasm excites me. What spirit? Well, seeing is believing. Let's get you on there. Alrighty, we'll be trusting you with navigation, Nagamimi. Hold on, is that all you're gonna do? say? You didn't even tell them where they're going. It'll be fine. Practice makes perfect, right? You're just gonna send me to a pointed time and not tell me anything. <laughs> Their blood's gonna be in your hands if anything happens. Unit 13, step onto the device. I wonder where we could be going. If only the... Uh, the game told me, Chapter 1, Atlantis. Battles will be real from here on out. You'll die if you just charge in like an idiot again. A reckless dummy like you has got to be extra careful out there. Vector definition, okay. Energy levels, okay. Code, ATL, input clear. Input complete, we're all clear. Operation Code VFD has now officially begun. What have I been doing for the past hour and a half, then? If we've only just begun. I do love how they just bring you to the the portal room and you're like, okay, so like, where are we going? And they're like, oh yeah, this is a time machine, by the way. <laughs> Capital City, Atlantica. Ah, the dragon flowers. Uh -huh. Testing, testing. Hey, Unit 13, can you hear me? Love to be a second place. It's, it's a really nice place. It is one of the... Yeah. I really should explain this all beforehand. Anyway, listen up. You've gone back over 12,000 years from the present time of UE77. This is the most prosperous, prosperous country at the time, smack dab in the middle of the Atlantic. The Sea Kingdom of Atlantis. This particular spot is the capital city, Atlantica. Do you see those guys over there? This isn't a country of humans, but one of a race called Lucier. Historical records state the humans were the only civilization to make tools out of stone, but that's only because this mysterious race was seemingly lost to the annals of time. They hid fox girls from us. The fox girls died out, and humanity never knew. Now then, your mission is to find the true dragon that's wrecking this place, and... What? The signal... Nagamimi? Crap! That! Come! Immediately! What are the guards doing? We must protect the queen, even if it costs us our lives. She's pretty. She is pretty. Queen Elania, you mustn't step out too far. Talieri, another star crystal has fallen. Seems the time is nearly upon us. Please, your majesty, come back inside. She's so pretty. I like her. Yes. Lance is Lynn, where nobody wears a proper shirt. <laughs> god of the sea, god of the stars, and king of Trello, we request divine protection from you three. Unit 13, answer me. Come on, just respond if you can hear me. Oh, I finally got through. Oh, that had me worried. Allie would totally wring my neck if I let you guys die on your first mission. Your target here is the source of this earthquake, the third true dragon, Nyala. As we speak, Nyala is on the verge of bringing Atlantis to its end. Now, in case you didn't know, Nyala is responsible for the dragon calamity of 2020. In other words, the people of Atlantis lost their battle against it. Although the Earth is still intact, so maybe it would be better to say it was a tie. 
Meowma was even wounded when it showed up in 2020. That must have been the work of the Lucier. Now then, we'll need a specimen from an uninjured Nyala for the Dragon Chronicle. Your mission's gonna be to figure out how to get your hands on that. Understand? Alright. Go on and head into the city. Try hunting down three dragons. That'll give you some training and even a few materials as well. If things ever start going south, south hightail it out of there. You can go back to Tokyo whenever you want from here. I'll even put some relay points around the city. And with that, oh wait, I forgot about this. I've got something to give you before you head off into the great unknown. I'll send over the manual. I'm sure it'll be tough for idiots like you, but give it a read. They're in the first field skill first aid. Field skills. Yeah. Do you mind? Yeah. <laughs> I totally forgot about field skills. They're, they're not that important. Welcome to Atlantis, everyone. It's definitely seen better days. It is currently under attack by a dragon, and also, you know... Okay, well, I'm not going to complain about the appearance of beautiful flowers everywhere, even if they are, like, killing everyone with dragon sickness, but, you know. I'm not interested in talking to foreigners. If you need help, go look elsewhere. Rude. And a water... I wish I could move the camera around a bit. Oh, the camera does like to show off the cool stuff, though. You there, halt! Those clothes. You are not one of us. What reason does the foreigner have for coming here? I'm here to kill Nyala. Kill Nyala? <laughs> what utter foolishness. In honor of the former King Utrella, we proudly await our end. You foreigners must leave. Although your insolence cannot be overlooked. I shall turn you into shark bait. We're here to take care of your dragon problem. And you're just saying, no, actually our plan is to give up. Uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, I guess we're gonna fight the guards. <laughs> no thanks. We'll just die. <sighs> Time is always an option. No. <laughs> It's an option I refuse. Oh. <laughs> Amber, funny thing. Um, Shori is behind in levels compared to Ophi and they because I gave her the EXP boosting accessory for a little while. <laughs> Basically, she leveled up before the rest, and then we fought an enemy that um, gives a lot of EXP. And because the others were a level lower, it scaled in such a way that it actually boosts them past Shori. <laughs> You, you are no ordinary foreigners. <laughs> you gotta be mindful of your actions. You guys are basically heretics around here. I guess there's not much reason to worry. The soldiers that are left are all super weak. Now then, let's get back to our search. Place is the highest level party member. Does this connect over here? It does, yeah. You gotta explore the entire map just in case there's something interesting hidden. Like a chest. A chest with the items I can't take up. Bad, 
All right, these guys. Ow. Ow. Oh, don't feel sorry. Okay. Shori is fine. Shori is alive. Shori is good. Shori is safe. Sasuga, indeed. Dropping two so I can get five. <laughs> also, I could just do that and heal up fully. Yeah. I mean, it's a problem, right? Don't come any closer. Go away. Come on, don't tell me you're gonna save that brat. Just leave her. <laughs> Nagamibi, who do you think we are? We'd literally rather die than not save someone. Just these guys, they're not even hard, Nagamimi. I don't know what you're so scared of. that in mind. Level of Montrory. Wow, that was amazing. Thanks. Huh? Your ears are weird. They're small and round, but really super cute. Milra, Milra. Oh, that's my grandmother. Hey! Milra, I'm so glad you're okay. That nice person saved me. You did? Even Atlantica guards have trouble handling these monsters. Just who are you? I'm researching Yawa. Are you perhaps planning on hunting it? Wow, that's incredible. So like Atlantis used to be super big, but then when Yala showed up, most of it sank to the Milra, quiet down. This place is too dangerous for you, Milra. It would be best if you return home. Okay. We did our good deed. Kind <laughs> of Yeah, Amber, we're all thinking it. You have my deepest gratitude for rescuing Milra. This country's fate has already been decided, so I guess there can be no harm in enlightening you. Eleven wards have already fallen due to Niala's invasion. Only a few remain intact. Our former King Utrella and the Atlantis elites attempted to defend off Niala, but none returned. Many citizens have died since the poisonous since to the poisonous flowers. Our demise is fast approaching. Before that happens, our consul, our consul Talieri, will carry out his final plan. He will destroy the sacred star crystals. Atlantis shall fall into the sea, and Yala along with it. All that's left is for the people of this land to come to peace with their inevitable end. Please refrain from disturbing our kingdom any further. Oop. We are here to, to to kill the thing that's causing you problems. What's that look on your face? Suicide is quite the interesting plan. They'd never beat Nyala through military might alone. Let's help the loose here. You dumb? We're here for the Dragon Chronicle! What we need is the specimen from Nyala. Nothing else matters. What's the point in saving these moldy guys anyway? I thought you wanted to help people in UE77. Nothing I say is gonna matter, huh? Just try not to forget about your mission. Come on, let's get moving. There are more dragons ahead. Okay, we're looking good. Actually. Fill the map for me, thank you. Ba, 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 ba. Ba da ba da ba da ba 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 ba
Yeah, yeah, lower my attack all you want. You're still dead. Yes, done. Is there a chest over here? Hell yeah, there is. Escape kit. Is that a... Okay. How to check if it was for escaping battles or escaping the dungeon. Summon a bug at you. Okay, you resist lightning. Got it. Down here, there sure is. Gosh, this game's so cool. <laughs> uh. Attack ring. No, you've got the Nagamimi charm. You can take the attack ring. I don't remember how long this game is, but um, I don't feel like it's that long. It should take us a, a solid amount of time, though. It's like not that long for a JRPG, I guess. <laughs> Where are you? I'm already. Dragon's Fane got him. He's not gonna last much longer. Leave him. This is pointless. There's no medical technology in that area that can help him. What about modern technology? Modern? Wait, don't tell me you want to bring him back to Tokyo. They're going for 100% fairly support compared to other RPGs. I mean, I might go for 100%. Or at least 100% up to a... Uh... When I played this on my own the two times, I basically did everything. Um, it feels like that's how the... Even that doesn't take too much longer. Though I didn't finish the post-game DLC. I didn't finish the post-game. Um, it just keeps... It's just kind of long. Uh, I'd love to. I'd love to someday. Uh, sure, the Nones medical team would have no problem treating a minor dragon's vein case, but... Julia has strictly prohibited rescuing people from other time periods. My paws are tied. <sighs> Fine, you can bring him back for emergency treatment. Discreetly. This is the show of mercy, I'll have you know. The kid seems pretty well bred. Mm, he looks quite tasty. There's a good bit of fat on him. What? Come on, it was a joke. I'm offended you thought I was serious. <laughs> Nagi Mimi, you bastard. I love you. <laughs> uh, just hurry up and save him before I change my mind. Well bred boy has been rescued. Metis too. Oh, hi there, man. This is my house. Me and my grandma live here together. Good for you. Has it occurred to you that there are monsters outside your door? Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -da -ba. Uh, okay, how does this thing feel about fire? Okay, you can just one-shot those. Okay, they're way to fire. Got it. Paralyzed card. Okay, this is the progress path. Uh... Let's go back. 
I think this is progress path. You're never supposed to take the progress path first. I do wish the auto battle coordinated with itself a bit better in terms of choosing random targets. This game has such a vibe. I, I, I don't know how to describe. It's just cool. It's just a cool game. Yeah, yeah. Do your weakening. It does prevent me from one shotting, so. Yeah, there's just a chest right here. <laughs> Healing aloe. Ba, 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 ba. I don't want to fight you. Ow. Literally would have been faster to try to fight them. <laughs> Just kill him, just kill him. There we go. It's faster to murder than to run sometimes. No lightning. Okay. Double yeah. Chori, good. How's everyone's up with looking? Level 9. And fish. Hold on, I'm here to save you. I'm here to steal you away to the future. Nope, skill, summon lightning. Again, this, this game has some of the coolest. Oh wait, no, you... You resist... Are you just immune to spells? Hmm. Didn't that work before? Please wait. We can't be rescuing you. Waiting woman has been rescued. Okay, there's the progress path. I know you were weak to fire. Don't be sure, okay. You can you please heal up Shory a little bit? Fire summon is kind of. <laughs> I I I like all the. We saw what the the summon like the summons as enemies in the the very first like intro dungeon. Uh. Yeah, no, the the summons are cool, especially once we start getting. <gasps> Dragon's Fancy. A different kind of metal slime. Mm. 
Damn it. Sure looking boy. Sorry, we're taking you. Sending you to the future. <laughs> Look, sometimes you just need to send people to the future. It's important. very amusing how the like the people in need of rescue icons are like on the map before the map gets filled out i think they're like basically the only icon that's like that uh draw fire so we can kill that thing in the next turn I was hoping you'd single target someone and I'd heal them. Healing aloe is yeah. Oh, then I just happened to draw fire anyway. Okay, fine. Right, we're firing you. You're buffing, debuffing. You're fucking dying, that's what's happening. Cool. Uh, chiropractic. this poor boy. Uh, so if I go this way, I think this is the progress path. Okay, we got a fire card on Chori, so this should be easy. game has the same kind of thing as like Etrian Odyssey where like the enemies will try to target you in such a way where they don't just like kill a party member from full because like, like it's totally a thing in Etrian Odyssey I don't think there's any there's, I don't think there's anything that even explicitly states it but you could totally feel while playing in Etrian Odyssey where like they will split their aggro in those games so like you don't die but not all games do that and I can't remember if this is one of the ones that where like they they try not to kill you one shot without letting you, uh, respond. Hmm, many thanks for saving me. Since my encounter with the young foreigners happened by chance, or was it fate? <laughs> also, very funny how Nagamimi was just like, okay, fine, this one time you could secretly save this kid from dying. Um. And they were like, okay, so do we have permission to just, like, Yoink anyone we see. Okay, but it's really funny sometimes. Well, he's getting up one character. No, you are right. You are right. It's definitely like a per game thing, though. There are some games where I'd be like, eh. Maybe don't do that. Ow. Okay, sorry. Summon your, uh, little guy. 
Okay, nope, not that chiropractic. Grandmother. Or at least the uh, NPC who looks like her. See, my name, I just kept saying. <laughs> Probably. Pretty much the only character trait our uh, protagonist has, or our player. Who, our, our characters in general. Pretty much the only character trait they have is they want to save everyone. Which is like, you know. Fair. Okay. So I want to go the other path. I keep choosing the progress path. Apologies for being the kind of person who cannot, absolutely cannot leave a stone unturned if the game tells me that there is a stone somewhere. There's a whole map on the, the touchscreen. I am going to fill the whole map. <sighs> That's why you picked up a map. <laughs> uh, of course it is. Okay, just get me out of here. Good job, May. Oh, great, nothing. I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight you. Good job, May. Okay, you're a new enemy. Uh, how do you feel about being iced? Nice. Do we have any... Do we have enough points for new skills? Yes, we do. Right, you get Blade of Rage. Revenge Attack of Allies Defeated. I think I, th I think that's a pretty strong skill, but I feel like I don't need it. I feel like I'd like to upgrade Whirlwind. So I'm going to give you the SP ever. So I blade and dual sword samurai makes this place a joke because there's so many enemies weak to <laughs> Yeah. Oh, hi there. Dragon. Hey, Unit 13, do you see that? That there is a dragon. But then, what's that thing behind it? It's hard to tell what exactly from here. Just focus on the dragon for now, okay? Way stronger than normal monsters. Make sure you're ready before you fight it. Oh, we're fine. So the way dragons are handled in this game kind of reminds me of FOEs from Etrian Odyssey. Sorry, I'm gonna keep comparing this to Etrian Odyssey. This game feels very much like Etrian Odyssey, but like not a uh, first-person dungeon crawler, and also with more story. Um, it reminds me of FOEs, but 
the goal is not to run away from them. The goal is to kill them. You are here to kill them. Attack my thing. Ow. This is what healing aloe is for, though. Leading for peace. Nice. <laughs> uh, I think I should probably hire back to Shori. Do I want to do a... Oh, fire damage based on fire card usage. Right, that doesn't use up the cards we have, but it's based on how many we've already used. Okay. Just keep dropping the sword on him. Okay, how do you feel about fire? Okay, I didn't do a lot. It just, this dragon hates Shori. It's gonna keep falling into her pitfall. It keeps activating her trap card. Good job, mate. Gain it is. Hmm. Looks like that was pretty easy for you, despite your lack of battle experience. Alright, this area should be safe now. Let's continue on. Yeah, we're fine. We need to keep going. Could that huge thing be Oricalco? Hey, Unit 13, get closer and check it out. What insolence. It may be mere, more ori mere Oricalcum to you foreigners, but that is the soul of Atlantis. Expect a swift death if you choose to touch it. I don't think he'd be. Oh, hey, it's the pretty lady. Now then, I am Consul Talieri of the Sea Kingdom of Atlantis. And the majestic woman before you is the ruler of this great country, Queen Ulania. What a suspicious group. Under normal circumstances, we'd have you investigated. However, we do not have the time to waste on you foreigners. Leave this place immediately. Let us connect this one to the Great Star Crystal so we can destroy both when the time comes. You're trespassing on Lucier territory. It's time for you to leave this place, foreigners. What is the matter? Let's join the Allah together. Such foolishness. There's no need for you to sympathize with those who wish to die. Guards! Talieri, wait. Your Majesty? I should speak with that one. Please consider your position, Your Majesty. You are all that remains of the royal family. Should I read Ulania as Liana? <laughs> I mean, fair. Must be well aware, Tally Area. However, I must. This is my final wish, I beg of you. Even King Utrello was weak to your selfish demands. Very well. Thank you, Tally Area. The pretty lady wants to talk with me? Mm, let's change clothes. I have read that those on land make clothing from tan beast hide. But this is quite different than I would have expected. The world's a vast place. Indeed, that seems to be the case. However, I know nothing of the world outside Atlantis. 
You are from Tokyo? I've never heard of such an odd village. You like this country, Yolania? But of course, I adore Atlantis. Both the country itself and the citizens within. I wish you could have seen the true Atlantis. The wealth, the grandeur, the prosperity. The people of Atlantis are born in the sea, and in the sea they shall die. Despite this catastrophe, I still believe this is truly the greatest paradise the world has ever seen. However, the story of Atlantis shall come to a close here. Traveler, the light within you is equal to that of even the strongest Atlantis knight. I'm sure that you will lead the world to greatness after this kingdom has fallen. Don't destroy Atlantis. Tens of thousands of my citizens have disappeared like mere bubbles in the sea. A great duty has been thrust upon the remaining survivors. We must defeat Nyala. Little time remains. If we miss this opportunity, Nyala will be unleashed on, upon the outside world. As the prideful ruler of Atlantis, I simply cannot allow that to happen. Your Majesty, the time is almost here. In mere months, Nyala has crushed almost all Lucier cities. Atlantica is one of the last. As we speak, that dragon is inhabiting our most sacred land. It is as though it mocks us. It is truly unforgivable. Even if it means the end of the city, Nyala shall perish. Resolve the Lucier was set upon the death of my father. The former King Utrello. I do not intend to live on and ignore the sacrifices of my countless fallen subjects. Atlantis is the shining beacon of this world, and Nyala wishes to plunge it into darkness. All that remains for us to do is destroy Nyala, no matter the cost. That is our purpose. Okay, but like, what if we just killed Nyala ourselves? Then you could just like, live and like, atone, I guess? Certainly that's better, right? Unit 13. What the heck's going on? You all look like you just came from a funeral. Hey now, don't overthink this. No matter what we do, Atlantis will fall. There's no point in feeling bad for them. Isn't there anything we can do? Nope, you're 12,000 years in the past, remember? Did you ever see anything in your textbooks about people with funny ears from a long time ago? No? Well, there we go. Plus, they accept their fate. You have no obligation to help them. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Our objective here is to obtain the Nyala specimen. As long as we get that, we don't have to worry about all these annoying Lucier people. Come on, let's get going. You still have two more dragons to hunt. Check the map for signals. Yeah, yeah. You say two more dragons. I see a lot of dragons, and I intend to kill. I'm here to kill dragons. What if we did see? <laughs> well, we'll get there. We'll get there. I don't feel like fighting you. Good job. Good job, Shoy. <laughs> now that is a dragon. Totally. That do that's totally a dragon. Look at that. That's so dragon-like. Ow. Ow. Oh, you froze us, you bastard. Uh, I might just do another jab to guarantee that I got up. I'm gonna throw down a pitfall. And we're just gonna start attacking. Okay, just don't kill OP. Okay, good. Cool. Um, so we're gonna lower your defenses. Shori, you just kill us all up. And we're just gonna keep slashing you. Oh, nope, never mind. May is dead. Never mind, Shori's dead. Okay, um. Kill myself first. Ow. 
That's not good. Do I just try to kill you? I think I just tried to kill you. Yeah, we just potato. Okay. <laughs> Oh, right, your fallen partner was still getting XP. I forgot about that. And they're back and kicking. I think if you catch them from behind, you get a... Okay, your sign will be over if you can beat this one. Okay, but I'm gonna keep... I'm gonna stick around. I'm gonna kill more dragons. Not gonna be me. I'm not leaving. <laughs> uh, okay, we have a lot of fire. How do you feel about fire? Cool games at that, even ASP. <laughs> yeah. Holy tell me last dragon is slain. Exactly. You hired me to fight dragons, Nagamimi. I'm going to fight dragons. Okay, so fire was effective. God. Good. Ow. Uh, I think this is lightning. I think we got him easy though. No need to get fancy. Just murder. No, don't auto kick me out. Hidden necessary disc from dormitory. Hold on, I'm getting some kind of weird signal. Oh, hey! What's ICF doing here? Seems you've already managed to recover. That's quite an impressive battle. Do you also have a time machine? Yeah. Glad to see you again. I'm Yung Kisaragi of the ISDF Far East Special Tactical Force. I'm Togo Yoritomo, ISDF Admiral of the Special Tactical Force. Stay off our turf! Calm yourself. We've simply come to observe you today. Things may be a little different the next time we meet, though. I think Dr. Giulietta was able to complete the time machine. His intelligence and clever use of note and technology is quite admirable indeed. There seems to be multiple dragon signals in this area, apart from that of the true dragon. Sounds like a perfect hunting ground. That's enough observation. Let's return to HQ. Understood. Well then, Ophi. We'll meet again. Next time in Tokyo. Sheesh, letting them use the portal without my permission. Hey, Unit 13, we're done here. Coming back to Nodens. But I don't want to... Let me fight more dragons! Yes. We were not ejected. I will kill more dragons. <laughs> I'll die. You're not a dragon. You're just a shark. And we all know the sharks are not dragons. Except when they are, but you know. Details. Gab. Someone fire. Just realized that Opie is hurt. Ow. Up, oh, recipe soapy. Uh, we are going to have a revive, right? Yeah, nano wave. Just start chunking him. Ow. Now, here we're going to use a healing aloe. 
We're gonna do... Our wire trap, and you're just gonna keep hitting him. Okay, get that one through. Now I think we can just attack him with the uh, basic attacks. Yeah, there we go. Right. One more dragon on this screen. I don't know if there are any on previous screens. Jab. Do I want to... I'm to... Oh, yeah, sure, why not? Just attack! Looks like I'm sure he got frozen though. Cab. Summon lightning. Just a fire dropping. Get your range. Okay. I'm very famously the kind of person rooting for a dragon to hit Shori. <laughs> I'm such a good friend. Okay. Ow. Okay, just don't kill us. Okay. Dragons on previous screens? No. Okay. And now we're going to use a an escape kit. Okay, yeah, no dragons there. There's a little number there that tells you how many dragons are at the location. Yo, I've been waiting! Those guys from ISDF are just stomped through all sorts of restricted areas. This better not be a problem. Is there something you're hiding? Our number of law violations are double, no, triple digits. But that's not what matters. The real issue is that they've discovered our research into the Dragon Chronicle. They're not going to stay quiet now that they know we have weapons for more than just self-defense. Worst case scenario, they destroy all our work and close off both the portal and seven the count. Well, no point in flandering it around now that they're here. Just go build that dormitory like we talked about earlier. I have to cheek at the counter on the conference floor, and she'll handle the rest. Come on, hurry up. Uh... Does I have to leave this room? Yeah, I do. Okay. Uh, that was the conference room. Chica! Yeah, yeah. And quests. I am in development? Yes, please. Construction now complete. Rika would like to thank you, so please go see her. So 
to a critical blaster raven because our game called super blaster is maybe come to get Construction? Yes. Congratulations, your new life as a slave has begun. Thank you. Thank you, Tika. You're so... You're everything. It's our dormitory. Construction is now complete. You should have something waiting from President Alley in your room. Chica's hilarious. No, Chica's great. I love all the NPCs, and I, Chica's one of my favorites. Hey, you have somewhere to sleep at night. When you sleep in your dormitory bed, your life, mana, and field skills are fully restored. You see a terminal in your room. You can use it if you want to change up your party composition. Oh, I'm getting excited just thinking about it. Come on, show your face in the war room. Okay, but... Crummy energy bar, thank you. Cool, new weapons. May a new sword. We don't have an agent. I would like a new weapon. Thank you. Oh god, right. Uh, equipment. Right, so these are... That's nine and six. Okay. I think I'm gonna give this to uh, Shori. And this to me and May. And we have attack ring. Yeah, we'll purchase them. Nice that you can put multiple of the same uh, equipment on. Okay, how are we looking on skills here? Uh, do we want CPR? No. I'll hold on to my SP for now. Shori, you can learn... Uh, stronger Ice Summons, sure. And May, more Whirlwind. Hi, hi. Sell our old equipment. Yeah. Alright, uh. Okay, so we can go to. Where do we want to go? I know you said to go to the war room, so I guess I'll go to the war room. Ba, ba, ba. Okay, so we can go to the war room. Don't be ridiculous. Do you know how much we sacrificed to obtain the first true dragon specimen? This is a decision of World Preservation Organization. You must hand everything over to ISDF. I have to destroy the data and hand it over to you guys. You. Nice timing. If you come any closer, I'll have to sick you in a 13 on you. <laughs> Dr. Juliana, let's try and maintain some semblance of civility here. It's clear which side will win. We're an international agency, while well, you're just a business. We simply cannot allow you to keep the true dragon specimen or continue to employ time travel. Okay. Okay, okay, I get what you want. I don't mind handing over the first true dragon I have specimen. But in exchange, I'll need your specimen from the fifth true dragon, Fomohad. That's the only negotiation I'm willing to take you up on. Hmm. I see, so you seek a trade. Do you really think your vigilante ways will work on the mighty ISDF? <laughs> you're not going to improve if you're, so over if you're so overconfident in your organization, you know? Feel free to test us. If you think Nodens is just some private business, that is. We've heard your case. All we can do now is wait for the decision from ISDF HQ. Yuma, let's return to the base. Understood. <sighs> Unit 13, I'm so sorry you had to walk into that big mess right when you got back. 
completely agree to our suggestion. Commander Akuts Akutsu of ISDF is a cold and calculating man. I highly doubt he'd sign off on an exchange with a private company like Nodens. And if they do hand over the fifth true dragon from a hot specimen, they'll want more in return. You're right, I bet they'd ask for free reign over the portal as well. Exactly, and that won't be the end of it either. They probably even monitored us when we monitor us when we use the portal. I'd rather not be watched. Me, I would never want to be watched. Why why would I want someone to watch me? <laughs> right guys? <laughs> hey, agree with you on that. We won't be able to make any kind of progress with that smelly old man watching over our every move. Besides, they might even snatch back the film hot specimen. It's an absolute N-O from me. <laughs> mm, but the young one, he wasn't so bad, right? Are you just basing that off his looks? <laughs> I don't need some young hottie to conciliate me. Man, it looks like the ISDF's finally starting to move in our turf. Okay, okay. Enough about that. Anyway, thanks for your thank you for all your hard work. Oh yeah, Unit 13, you guys finished up the dormitory, right? Yo, the view from the terrace is just superb. Yep, yep, that's the kind of work I like to see around here. Alright, you guys are done for the day. Feel free to go back and rest in your dormitory. Oh, hold on, Unit 13. You have a guest waiting for you. Make sure you stop by the entrance lobby before you go to bed for the night. That girl Mio's been looking all over for you. Said she has something special just for you. Oh my, will it be taking her back to your room? You're quite the little carnivore. What? It was just a joke. <laughs> oh well, that's all from uh, that's all from us today. Rest well. I'll see y'all tomorrow. All right. Uh, entrance lobby. Mio. Hi, girl. Oh, Ophi. I'm expecting your little face plant. <laughs> See you doing well. I'm glad. Are you hurt? You worried about me? Yeah, yes, I am worried about you, Ophi. I mean, you look so beat up. You've been finding help other people again, haven't you? Um, that's actually why I'm here today. I got some really strong medicine from my grandfather's clinic. It's for you. I don't want you to get scars. Here, I'll put it on for you. Just close your eyes. Here in the entrance lobby? We have a room, Mio. I can take you back to it. I think I put too much on. Yeah, I'll definitely get better quickly now. 1050 SP. Hey, how is it? Are you going to go through with this? Do you really want to keep working with Ali and the others, even after all those injuries? I want to protect everyone. You haven't changed from when I first met you. Like, yesterday. <laughs> you just go full throttle and everything. That's it. You believe in yourself and push on in a way only you can, Opie. I, I need to work harder and figure out how to do things I can in a way only I can. <laughs> Thank you, Opie. I'm gonna go think about things a little more. I'll see you. No, stay here where I can protect you. <laughs> She's pre she is my precious daughter, and I would rather see the entire world die before seeing her die. Are you done with all that fun stuff? Your dormitory awaits. Just do what you gotta do and get to sleep already. Ba -ba. Uh, we did have a quest. Uh, where was the quest? Talk to Joe in the laboratory. Uh, where do they need the R and D for? Three. Oh no, there's a little marker on the, the map. Okay. Came for the quest counter? Then we'll see you here to fulfill my request. I'll be able to get my hand on Raven's autograph. Coda's gonna be so thrilled. One of the heroes from a game my son loves called Super Blast is performing in the plaza. I want to go and get his autograph, but stuck here in the lab, they won't let me take any time off for my research. That's you to go instead. Of course. Yeah. 
Mais pas ça. Hi there, Blaster Raven. The fire of courage in my right hand shall forever protect the peace of this galaxy. Earth Squadron Blaster Raven, the hero who is here! <laughs> Yet again, I have pierced the hearts of children everywhere. Oh, that paper. Could it be? Does a loyal follower want an autograph from the majestic Blaster Raven? Yeah? Understood, kids. Wait just one moment. Pen, pen, pen. It's, it's gone. My pen is gone. Oh, I guess that's correct. I loaned my blaster pen to a young girl in need just a while back. Seems she must have taken it with her. If you truly desire a raven autograph, you must retrieve my blaster pen from that hasty girl. Uh, why can't you get it? Blaster Raven does not have time to meddle in such trifling matters. There's evil afoot! I got the faintest set of pharmaceuticals radiating from the girl who took my pen. Seriously, so investigate the medical floor. Go, blaster kids. Go, Godspeed! Okay, medical floor. Hi there. Hey, then Blaster Raven asked you to look for his pen. Maybe it's... Sorry, Unit 13. Wait here for a few. This is probably the pen you're looking for, Unit 13. I was making a poster remind... I was making a poster reminding everyone to wash their hands so they don't catch a cold. That's what this funny looking man in tights came and started helping me out. I guess his pen got mixed in with the others. I need to go give it back to him right away. Huh? You'll do it for me? That's perfect. Actually, still waiting to get my checkup. Thank you so much, Unit 13. Blaster pen acquired. Ba -da -ba -ba. It's truly my blaster pen. Well met, blaster kids. Take out the bravery put forth by my loyal followers. I shall pour my heart into this autograph. By the way, is one all that you require? I have no arrangements for today, so I can sign until... Anyway, what exactly do you do? I'm glad you asked. I vanquish dragons in the west. I save people in need in the east. But what if there are dragons attacking in the east? Protector of the galaxy, Earth Squadron Blaster Raven, the hero is here. That was beautiful. Thank you, sir. Hi there, Joe. Here's your autograph. I really did it. This glass of Raven's autograph. Quest complete. Complete the quest. I think that's the only one, right? Oh, no, there's a new one. Log in the seventh. Oh, right. Something new in seventh didn't count. I remember there's something in both seventh didn't count. Uh, afterwards, so we'll, we'll do that. We're going back, back into the program. What are you guys doing the quest, huh? What's up, your enthralling bug check adventure to begin? Doesn't that sound just oh so exciting? I'm gonna do a bit more than have a staring contest with source code, though. There's a dragon in there that just came out of nowhere. Seems like it's from a bunch of bugs. So, you get to fight it. Just make sure you can record the error code so we can analyze the cause. Now hurry up and kick that dragon's ass! Oh, you bet not gonna be me. If there's one thing I'm good at, it's kicking dragon ass. I think the enemies here get are like stronger. One second, does it? Not that much stronger, but like you didn't fight hell clouds on floor one earlier. Like it's still enemies we were fighting at like level four, but. Just gonna run from battles. 
said we gained from fighting. What are we fighting for? This game is so good. <laughs> Who gave this game permission to be so cool? Reducing counter rates. Okay, there's the dragon. We've gone to a normal fight right in front of it. Nope, we don't care to fight you. That is not blue. I'm, it's it's blue-ish, but it, I'd say that's more of a green. Anyway, uh, pitfall. Oh no, don't buff yourself. Oh gosh. That's not allowed. Uh, supply drop. No, we can try ice. We can try, uh, summon ice. God, that's such a big sword. Ow. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Ah, damn it, I'm dead. action, so... Jab. I'll try to get some lightning. Go for it. Yeah! Okay. Perfect. Hurry along and bring it over to Kirk on the development board. Can make it all better. Okay, but I wanna I wanna go further. Don't care to fight you, don't care to fight you, don't care to fight you. Thank you, May. Ba, 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 
Preempt his back. I don't mind if I do. I am thoroughly amused by the, the part of the UI down there. Where next to like turn and like what turn number it is and the like the auto attack. It just says dragon. It just says dragon down there on the battle menu. I I'm thoroughly amused. Turn one, dragon. <laughs> it just says dragon. Very important part of the UI. We need to remember that this game is indeed about dragons. Okay, there's probably a chest over here. Da -da -da -da. Thank you, May. Let's see if the little dragon symbol blow up. <laughs> yeah. Fourth floor. Let's see how strong the enemies are here. Ah, uh, it's still these guys. Oh, it's kind of like a stronger version. Not the ba -ba -ba. I'm guessing the bug is being fire. Yeah. Okay, yeah, no, these guys are still weak. Sending pathetic enemies at me. Either give me a challenge or get out of my face. Sort of absentmindedly hit the auto attack button. I guess we're killing them. These ones will die. I let too many live. Clearly, I need to. <laughs> My killer instinct just made me press the the auto attack button, so I'd kill them. Clearly, that's what happened. Could not be suffered to let them live. But my blood bus has been sated. Need stronger prey. Now we're on the roof of the Tokyo Sky Tower. Alright. That's really anything to up here yet. I think later on there's like something. I think there's like another quest that takes place in here. Okay. 
Uh, where did I need to take that? Uh, develop four. Okay. Development four. I nearly went to the R and D four because you know the D and R and D is development. But no, development four and R and D four are different. Enter the bug report. Ooh, error code? Ah, yes, yes. It must be our new bug tester. Well, can you show me the report? Mm, I see, I see. It seems to be an endless loop for me in the battle protocol in particular circumstances. I should be finished fixing up the code by tomorrow. Can you report that, Dr. Julieta? Sure. Uh, they should be in the conference room, right? Hi there, Julieta. Sheesh, Ellie. I didn't think she went for the handsome man. She's got it all wrong. It's not about the face. The guy's butt is... <laughs> Wait. Oh, I need to talk to them in the director's office. Okay. Not the war room. Uh... Back on the development floor. Hi there, Julieta. Oh, such adorable little lambs. You're here to comfort me after a long day at work? Just kidding. Tell me about the big issue check. No? Thanks for your help. You really saved their butts. I think I'll give you no, thank you. I. No, thank you. <laughs> Sorry, Julieta, you're just not my type. Alright. Handmade dental. Thank you, Allie. Thank you, Julieta. I think this is food. It probably won't make you sick. Probably. Oh, my God. Thank you, Nagamimi. <laughs> well. Uh, where's May? Hi, hi there, May. You need something? Nope, we're good. Who's my report commander, Kutsu? Those bastards, just as I thought, they possessed the IOD specimen. Our time travel device, that was beyond even my expectations. No one seems to have some knowledge of our FOMO hot specimen as well. They said the only way they'll hand over the IOD specimen is if we agree to a trade. Continuation of their research into the Dragon Chronicle appears to be their top priority. Dragon Chronicle, that fantasy has been floating around for almost a hundred years now. Hmm, we can leave the dreaming to them. What humanity needs is the absolute power to fight against the seventh true dragon. Our mission is to make that power into a reality. Yuma, was there anything of value in those ruins? I hunted a dragon during observation, but it wasn't even a suitable warm up. Hmm, <laughs> impressive. Analyze and back up the battle data by tomorrow morning. Signs of the seventh true dragon's appearance have begun to spread. The third invasion of Tokyo will soon be upon us. You understand that by that time. Yes, of course. Good. Togo Yori... Togo Yori Tomo. Yuma Kisaragi. I hereby command both of you to station yourself at Noden's. You will begin at 7 o... 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Your aim, a specimen from the third true dragon, Yala. Yes, sir. Do what you must to appease them and gain access to that portal. Even if it requires that you hand over the Fubble Hot specimen. That is all. They're gonna cooperate with us. You might suggest you go and rest. I'll wake you up once the analysis is complete. You should rest as well, Admiral. You're getting on in years. Hmm. Such impertinence. By the way, what did you think of them, Admiral? You mean the Node Investigation Team? Unit 13, was it? Hmm. It's great to see you hold interest in others. It's just their combat abilities have improved drastically since the other day, but how? 
You'll see with your own eyes. Our new post will prove difficult, Yuma. 12,000 years in the past. <laughs> Atlantis, huh? How exciting. Chapter 2, The Fire Within. <laughs> Just like holding their guns. Oh, that's the newest assault rifle from s and Corp. That's an original ISDF combat shotgun. Dude. These guys are goldmine for rare equipment. You can't see the stuff in training exercise. Dude, dude. You're watching some soldiers walk down the street next to like... Does this mean those monsters are coming back? Just like people. That's the reasonable response is to be kind of kind of afraid. Oh. Sheesh, how long are you gonna sleep? Get the hell up, Unit 13! Finally awake, huh? Come on, the ICF duo is here with a whole army behind them. Apparently they're going to be joining in on our plan from today onward. What a pain in the ass. They're over in the war room now. Go and show your face before you hop into the portal. Just let the little maid get up. <laughs> well, of course! Okay, now we have construction options. This do I need? Okay. Sky Lounge, five days. Reference room, four days. Okay. Sky Lounge is definitely a priority because we construct the Sky Lounge and we get to take people on dates. Not even kidding. Basically, every NPC you can take on dates in the Sky Lounge. War room, okay. <laughs> so you came through. This is indeed a specimen from the fifth true dragon, Fomaha. Honestly, kind of off-putting that you guys accepted our demands. What's the catch? Hmm. It's better to have options if you want to be prepared for the coming dragon calamity. If you only use one character for <laughs> Let me pretend this is a... No, like, yeah, seriously, like, you date all of them. You're not, like, choosing... I don't, I don't even remember if you choose whether or not to make it, like, a... A date. It just... It's just how you get to know everyone. You take them on dates. <sighs> Don't know what you intend on doing, but the ICF will decimate you if you plan on interfering. More importantly, you both have access to new data. Seems like a fair trade to me. Okay. Okay, okay. Only four more to go. Morning, Unit 13. Let me introduce them once again. This group is our A squad, codenamed Unit 13. Starting today, Nodens and ICF will be collaborating in order to hunt the true dragons. There will surely be missions in which we get to fight side by side. I look forward to working with you, Unit 13. Don't get in my way. How absurd of you. Let's not be so cold to each other. We are not vultures waiting to snatch your prey. We are simply here in order to achieve greater military results together. Seems you don't like me much. Our objective here is collecting specimens. As long as we get them, we won't get in your way. <laughs> you better not. You have to deal with me if you want to interfere with Unit 13. Now, Julieta, let's stay amicable here. No, let's get into a fight. Let's get into a brawl. I'll beat them up. I'll, I'll, I'll punch that pretty boy in his face. Uh, Yuma, not Julieta. Julieta's cool. <laughs> You're so strange. Come on, Nagamimi. Let's get this meeting started before a fight breaks out. Yep, let's do it. That's all moves? Or is it a mere costume? No, it's too small for that. It could be a miniature robot with some kind of specialized AI. Shut your mouths! I'm not a doll. I'm not some dude in a costume. I'm definitely not a robot. I'm the almighty Nagamimi. It's nothing more and nothing less. Don't you forget it. Understood. <laughs> Supposed to kind of thing is to be expected in the entertainment industry. Oh. They're surprisingly quick to understand. What rudeness. Anyways, moving on. 
Let's review the plan before this collab gets underway. First off, our target will be the third true dragon, Nyala. If the ICF has the same goal, we will work together to collect the Nyala specimen. That specimen is the key here, got it? Don't let it just sink down to the seafloor. I've expanded our transfer path selection by connecting to a new area in the same time nexus. Julianna pulled an all-nighter, making adjustments to the portal. Can we please just come kill Nala? Hey now, people aren't going to take a shine to you if you just rush into everything. It's too early for you to fight Nyala, you'd surely lose. Anyways, you'll now be able to go to the Lower Ward Cladium. That place is the foundation of Atlantis' prosperity. It's home to both miners and blacksmiths. There probably aren't many survivors down there though. It's basically a monster den. You'll be going down there to gather information on the Dragon Slayer. Dragon Slayer? The Lucier used their extensive knowledge of smithing to craft a sword of mythical glory Calcum. A special weapon designed to combat the true dragons. That is the Dragon Slayer. I've heard the former King Utrello use it in his struggle against the dragons. It was lost when he fell to Nyala. How do you guys know the history of Atlantis? I... Oh, I, wait, no, actually, never mind. They did visit Atlantis. They probably just heard it directly from the Atlantis. Like, never mind. We know that already. We simply be finding the actual thing. If it's really gone, we'll just have to make another. Sheesh, you still think all you soldiers know? Mm. What we'll need from you guys now is to find some pure Ori Calcum so we can make our own Dragon Slayer. Also gonna need a Lucier Blacksmith who can forge. If there are any alive, that is. Defeating Yala without the Dragon Slayer will be impossible given our current military power. To make it worse, there's no way to craft a sword using the modern technology and materials. Hmm. I see. Seems having the Dragon Slayer will turn the tides of war drastically in our favor. Sorry, like someone slept through history. <laughs> hey now, I didn't sleep through history. I slept through personal finance. Big difference. And also woodworking. Then we too shall head to Cladian. We'll be departing immediately. Okay, okay. Have a safe trip. Let's make sure you don't interfere with Unit 13's work. ICF Special Tactical Force. The Atlantis recapture plan will now commence. Yes, sir. Surely nothing could go wrong from so sending military men into the past. Seems they'll be pretty easy to deal with. But at the end of the day, soldiers are soldiers. You need to stay on your guard. She later used to work in a lab at the American branch of ISDF. He got into a fight with one of his superiors, so he got the boot. That's when I snagged him. <sighs> the past is in the past. Regardless, be careful. If you see them doing anything weird, make sure you report it to us. Well then, looks like it's time for you guys to head out too. Good luck, Unit 13. Ba -ba. Sweet. Nope, four four. Actually, wait a second. Do... Does Chica have any new quests? You do. I think I have some spiral meat. Uh, laboratory, medical office, medical floor. Hi there, my my. Got extra light. <laughs> Hear about the dragon circuit of medicine. Uh, negotiate with the higher ups. Oh, let's go. Talk to Julietta in the director's office. Okay. Which means about the floor. A lot of the quests are mostly just moving around, talking to people, occasionally going to a dungeon and doing a thing. So they don't take too long. Hey, thank you, Lietta. So we don't have enough meds for all the patients with dragon sickness. All the pharmaceutical companies are already out, though. We try and make it ourselves, but the main ingredient comes from the animal called the Helm Crab. Not only does it live in ocean depths, it's also endangered. It'll be near impossible to get. There's one place. You have somewhere in mind? Oh, I see. That's right. Very clever indeed. 
Hell crab is essentially a living fossil. There must be swarms of them in, La in Atlantis. Oh yeah, no, I've got, I've definitely got that. This is digestive gland. Oh, it's icky. That's not time for that. Wait just a moment. Here you go. I'll finish. Give this to my mind. Seems strange that medicine from a modern animal can be made using a crab from Atlantis. I suppose 12,000 years ago, but a mere pebble in the grand stream of time. True. I mean, 12,000 years ago, that was basically yesterday. I like the idea of uh, making a medicine from crabs. Like, it's kind of like horseshoe crabs, like living fossils that you make medicines from. <laughs> uh, the other one was in the lab. So, RD4. <laughs> you, you just want to eat the spiral. Ten spiral meats. Okay. Try to eat the dragon specimen. Of no, girl. Okay, you said ten spiral meats. How many do I have? Uh, six. Okay. D4. Portal 4. Yeah, I do have to go into the portal room. We've been waiting. Something of the soldier head to Atlantis. I want to speak with you guys before starting this mission. I'm sure you have plenty of thoughts about us stepping on your toes. I'm honestly quite excited about the cooperation to fight the true dragons. I look forward to working with you, Alfie. That's enough, Yuma. Let's go. Well, then you in 13. I'll see you on the other side. Go to Atlantis, people. Again. Sixteen dragons here. Lower Ward Cladium. We love floating rocks. What is this place? The boulders are floating. Sheesh, Julieta never tells me anything. What the heck are we supposed to do here? Watch where you step, Unit 13, unless you want to splatter like a blood filled pumpkin, that is. Yeah. Ah, you've arrived. Hmm. We'll be counting on continuing whether you want to or not. Find a safer route if you're too afraid. Well, then, please excuse us. I love how janky the animation is <laughs> when they're jumping. <laughs> oh, show off. Hey, you did 13. Get a move on. You idiot. You think you'll be able to beat a true dragon if this crap scares you? I won't force you or anything, but just try and figure it out. I bet your footing will be secure if you follow their path. Come on, get going. This is very safe and normal stuff. I'm very amused by the, the mini map having just like clusters of the little markers. <laughs> Which 
chest quite. The inside of this mountain looks some, like some kind of ant farm, or, well, a dragon farm. These things are swarming the place. You're gonna have to be careful you stay alive. Hey, I forgot to tell you, make sure you know when you're fighting near a dragon. They're so hot they might just ambush you. How rude of them. Hit from behind. Now that, that's a dragon. <laughs> I've never seen a more dragon-like dragon in my life. Uh, put down a barbed trap. It's so dragon like. Okay, lowers defenses. Uh, I think I'm just gonna supply draw. And now it's no longer inflicted with God Death. Great. I guess I did what I needed to do with that, though. Uh, lightning. Oh, no. Its defenses went back to normal. Never mind. I didn't get to do what I meant to. Healing. Okay, don't attack OP. No, you're hitting all of us. Okay. Um, I should probably run. Nope, I'm dead. Free try. This is nice. <laughs> Jack. Uh, I think I want fire in the sky. I'm just gonna do supply drop. Okay. Need to be more aggressive, uh, staying healed up. Girl, please. A nice somewhere. Okay, we're gonna do a fire world trap. Got some god depth. I think I'm gonna lower it to attack and then it's defense. Because it's doing a lot of damage when it's uh, doing its thing. 
lay down the trap. Try to inflict bleed. Good bleed. Oh, that's gonna kill Meg. you for damage. A healing aloe seems fitting here. Let's do damage. Bam! Okay. Just didn't want to kill us before we could kill it. That's almost dead. It's probably gonna die of bleed. Yeah! Oh. Oh, now sure he's in the lead. Gosh, we love uh, scaling EXP. Capra armor. Yeah, why not? No, but did enough damage. No, 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 you're still dying. We're not letting you live. Okay, poison carries over between battles. It's good to know. Dragon. Don't piss off the dragon. We gotta sneak up on it. No, not guard. Yeah. She's gonna run out of MP. Uh, jab. Lay down a pitfall. Keep attacking, keep doing basic attacks. That's basically a basic attack. As long as you don't do the acid breath, I'm good. Okay. Lower your attack. I think Shory's actually going to spend this turn healing us up. The whirlwind.
Don't do acid breath, don't do acid breath. God damn it. Okay. Mana water. Okay, we're actually going to do you restore Maze mana. Because Maze is the fastest, so I want her to use the, uh, the healing item first. Uh, yeah, we'll do the handmade then, though. No longer play with God Death. Okay. Gotta start our combo over. We dropped the combo. Uh. Do that. Jabbing. Throw down another pitfall trap. Okay, but we're alive. Okay, I'm not alive, but... Details, details. Uh... I'm revive myself, and then... Just hope this kills. Go for it. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Where's my mana water? Oh, did I use up all the mana water I had? Again, Kitty's yelling at me. I, I don't have anything for you, dude. I'm sorry. Mirkiska Toga? Yeah, I will take more. Take better armor. Okay. okay. Normal enemies. Normal problems. Okay, the shark is weak to fire. <laughs> Stop. Uh, any skills I can learn? Oh, yeah. I'm going to be using Japanese amount, which probably be upgraded a bit more. And maybe some more points of chiropractic. You. Uh, still short to learn anything, so.
Let's learn how to be angry. Don't need to learn any dual blade effects. So hold on to that SP for a little bit longer. Hugan, hi. Hi there, kitty. Oh, kitty wants on lap. Just keep up and avoid sustaining any major wounds. Color me impressed. Now, we did die once, but you know that never happened. Can't move beyond this area due to the wall of dragon's bane. Having said that, it should disappear if we defeat the dragon guarding it. All right, there he again. We can handle this one, so. No. <laughs> we got this. Let us cook. <laughs> Don't tell me you're planning on fighting it. I advise against that. The dragon is far more powerful than the others in this area. Hmm. hmm. Do as you please. However, don't expect any support from me. Are you sure about that, Admiral? They'll never be of use to us if they can't manage to beat one as small as this. True enough. In that case, I'll stand back as well. Let's see what Unit 13 can do. By filling up the exhaust gauge, you'll become able to use the exhaust command in battle. While in exhaust mode, your powers will be heightened, leading to following results for one turn. Instant action, increased attack power, increased healing effects. Gauge fleets completely after usage, but fills up as you attack enemies or take damage. Gauge also fills up quicker depending on the strength of the enemy you face. Use it wisely. Nice. So be afraid to use exhaust unit 13, it'll help you greatly in battle. Yeah, so this guy's got a hammer for a head. Uh, going to lay that down. Red flame. Again. What are you doing? Uh Okay, stop being scary. Jab you again, going to heal. Exhaust this. Yeah, big damage. Healing, just make sure we don't die. Ow. Exhaust. Into Cortetto. Nice. <laughs> nice. I'm surprised. You grew a far quicker rate than I would have expected. That was brilliant. What's the matter, Admiral? Footprints, and they're still fresh. That means there are people ahead? Most likely. Impossible. How could anyone survive in this dragon's nest? This is the mine, Yuma. With the minerals here, a skilled Lucier could craft a powerful weapon. Let's save those people. Save them, hmm? Unit 13, our mission here is a swift retrieval of the true dragon specimen. Rescuing locals would go against our orders. <laughs> We've been doing it a lot before. Hey, Unit 13. Man, this is embarrassing. They've completely taken the initiative from you. You did do quite a number on that dragon in the wall, though. You know much for these ISDF bitches in terms of experience, but just keep pushing on. Now then, about the survivors. I'm struggling to differentiate between dragon and human signals. There are just so goddamn many. It's not guaranteed that those survivors are actually going to be of any use to us. Be careful, yeah? Let's see. And I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. I'll be back in a sec. Hewin, you're going to have to get off my lap. I'm sorry. All right. Be back in a sec.
Hi, I'm back, and I got a snack. So I'll snack on that real quick. <laughs> How's everyone doing? How's everyone enjoying this? Hope everyone's seeing like the what I mean when I say that the classes in this game have a lot of really interesting things going on. Like, God Hand is like the basic healer class, and it's not basic. The whole God Death thing is um really fascinating, and like the classes only get more interesting as we go. hungry. I need a snack. I don't remember... I don't remember if there's something after the, um... the mines here, um, before we fight FOMO out. Uh, definitely gonna finish up the mines here, um, before the end of stream. But I can't remember if... I, I feel like FOMO... I think there's another dungeon before fighting the... Uh, sorry, not Fomo, uh... Nyala. <laughs> snack good. Ophi likes snack. Uh, just some Cheez Its. Hello there. Cry Baby Girl. Who's there? I thought you were with me, Daddy. Oh, you poor thing. Battle Dagger? Oh, great. Right. That's not for us. Daggers, that's a that's a weapon type of my favorite class. This is a corpse of a dragon, and this laceration is clearly the work of human weapons. The humans responsible should be close by. They seem to be many in number. So the Correct, they're most likely some kind of trained militia. This corpse is proof of that. So what do we do? The area head is clearly their territory. Danger surely awaits if we continue forth. We need to push through or try and find a way around. I'd like to hear units 13. Unit 13's opinion on the matter. Let's we'll keep moving. I agree. Seeing what happened here, it's safe to assume any other rats will be dangerous as well. We should prepare for combat just in case. It doesn't seem like people who can be reasoned with. Why not? I think you're the ones who can't be reasoned with. Here they come. Positions. Above us! Yo! Hi! You guys aren't regular thieves, are you? We hold no ill will. Please lower your weapons. I gotta listen to you. There's nothing we can do. I'll handle the soldiers, Unit 13. You take care of that guy. You're splitting into two groups, huh? Let's it up. My name's Aker, leader of the Caladian Militia. It doesn't matter if you're a dragon or a thief. I'm not letting you get through here. We are not your enemy, dude. I love how tiny he is. Like, he's just a dude. They don't, like, zoom in so that you see more of him. He's just a dude. He's just kind of chilling there. Uh, speaking of chilling. Gotta find out your weakness. Got a jab. Uh, maybe I'll just guard with you. I don't feel like healing right now. See, as long as it doesn't go for OP. 
No, he's missing his own attack. Now we just beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. Reminder, by the way, that our party members are just like kids who went to an arcade game, a very special arcade game, happened to be good at it, and then recruited to fight dragons. God, I wish that could be me. Rip Ager. It's time to play around. If you don't leave now, you're gonna end up dead. I just kicked your ass, dude. Wait. How about we end this little game? We're sorry, Ager. You. Thank you for keeping you at Bay Unit 13. We're okay now. I'll say it again. We hold no ill will towards you. Are you the leader of the settlement? No, I'm just commander of the army. Chief is somewhere else. In that case, lead us to him. <laughs> you don't need to do what they say, Ager. We're ready to die. There's no reason for you to listen to these fools, even if they try and kill us. That's right, give it all you got. Idiots. Didn't we promise we'd beat Nyala together? How are we gonna do that if you're dead? Come on, I'll show you guys the way. Follow me. Hey, we should beat Nyala. It appears they had a different mindset than those in the capital. Let's follow him, Unit 13. Yeah, I should probably pop the save point real quick. Whoop. We're gonna get attacked. Nope. Oh, we made it. This is... I knew it. You guys are here to steal a star crystal, huh? Damn thieves coming in to take Claudine's most precious treasure during all this turmoil. We have no intention of stealing anything. We share the same objective. What? I see we have guests. Chief Toglau. I messed up, Chief. I'll let these guys take me hostage. Mm, I don't sense any hostility. Why have you come to this remote village? We're here to kill Nyala. Huh? Huh? What? What kind of crap are you thieves going on about? I'm sure you gained a good grasp of our combat abilities from our previous battle. Ugh. Yeah, I've got a grasp all right. These guys won't even be able to scratch Nyala's tail. And you can? Shut up, of course not. It's not like there's anywhere here for us to hide. Might as well try. What about the Dragon Slayer? How do you know about our treasured sword? Legend of it has spread in our country as well. The sword that can slice through a true dragon. Indeed, knowledge of it was passed along so that we could combat the dragon invasion. Many years ago, the priestesses of the spirit world, Emil and Atel, granted its secret to us. The Hypno Sisters. So you know of them. They warned us of the dragon invasion and taught us of the dragon slayer. The people of Cladian are the descendants of those who were originally taught these secrets. Does that mean the dragon slayer is here? No, it no longer exists. After Nyala appeared, we followed the prophecy and gave the Dragon Slayer to our former king. But instead of Nyala, our king Utrello and his men were the ones to die, even my father. We lost not only our king, but the mythical sword as well. The prophecy of the priestess Amel is as follows. When disaster strikes, pass the Dragon Slayer to a kind hero. That hero will be called Dragon Hunter. They shall carry the will that can rid this planet of ruin. Currently neither sword nor hero exist. Our hope of survival has already crumbled. Hey, I can be a hero! I'd like to be a hero. Can I be your hero? Is no way to forge another Dragon Slayer? We are lacking the materials. Furthermore, many of our smiths have lost their lives in battle. On top of that, the High Dragon Mayhem is using our forge as a nesting ground. Star Crystal protects us from weak dragons, but this is one of the few safe places left. Damn it, that thing knew how important the forge was to us. I'll kill the High Dragon. Mary! Welcome, welcome! <laughs> how you doing? Think you still get a hero? <laughs> 
A weakling like you? Don't make me laugh. Indeed, you know, 13 still has much room for growth, but you never know what can happen. Besides, we're here as well. Hey, your, your reason for not going after Mayhem is that you need to keep your people safe, yes? Uh, I'm alive? Good, good, good to hear, Mary. Good to hear it. If we went to fight it, we wouldn't be able to protect the citizens here. I understand. In that case, leave the High Dragon at the Forge to us. Are you going to do anything to a High Dragon with that few people? Yes, we're going to kill it. You're crazy! Visitors, do as you please. We will not stop you. Chief! Aegir, you're doing very well here. However, there's a little more that we can do with the strength we have. Let's rely on them for now. Do you want to help me? <laughs> of course, Mary, of course. In fact, I was just thinking, we are, I think, right about now going to get um, access to new classes and have room for three more new party members. So I was thinking now would be a good time to put a... Uh, Marion and maybe Amber if she wants any of the classes we uh, have access to. Amber, I was thinking maybe Banisher would be a good fit for you, um, which is going to be part of the next set of classes we get. But if you look up Seventh Dragon Three Banisher class, tell me if like you're if that's what the one you want or if it's one of the ones we're about to get. Yes, of course, Mary. We have Shori and myself right there. Shori's behind me. I'm the one in the maid dress. In one condition: you take some of my men with you. Is that all right with you, Chief? You are the commander. You may do as you see fit. <laughs> You're my actual favorite class to mention early in case people chat. <laughs> uh, look, I, I I love Rune Knight. Rune Knight's my favorite. I'm trying to take on High Dragon so few people just playing back for this. Easier to have a Lucier who's dealt with the monsters around here. They're all still amateurs, but feel free to bring anyone from my army along with you. Tactical reinforcements. ICF is in no position to accept me with recruits at this time. However, I'm sure Unit 13 was welcome to suggest with why. Arms wide open. Yes! New party members! Yo, Unit 13. I heard all that. You're so smart. I figured idea. Okay, good. So, Amber, uh, you and uh, Mage Me will join the party later. So, <laughs> yeah. So you'll be a banisher. I'll be Mage. Well, I'm also God Hand. You gotta need to ask Aline Julieta before you can go make any new hires. You want to accept a Lucier from Atlantis since Unit 13? Fine by me. I'm all for it. You can even go ahead and double the size of your party if you'd like. You're too easy to persuade. But I guess having a Lucier would be nice. Those ears. New appearances of class of an of character creation. You now form a second team. Cool. All right. Mary. <laughs> Mary, 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 Mary. So, um, we have access to two new classes. We have access to Fortuner. Uh, which is a support class. Uh, I love Fortuner. It's it's good at healing. Um, it's kind of like... It's even more of a dedicated mage than a... Or a dedicated healer than God Hand. And it's really good at that. It's... Um, yeah. I really like Fortuner. It's a lot of fun. Um, a size... Yeah, oh yeah, fights with science. That's also really cool. Uh... I feel that also has some attack skills, but I don't remember what they do. I think it's mostly like debuff stuff. It's it's a cool support class. Uh, and Rune Knight, my favorite class. Um, it's ostensibly the tank class. The idea with Rune Knight is that they fight with daggers that they form giant magic blades with. Um, they have a lot of skills that focus on getting to low HP and um, doing big damage in return. Um, I'm going to be using Rune Knight, like, all the time. <laughs> and we still don't have an agent, which focuses on hacking enemies and guns. Uh, and I'll probably hold off from having a dual blade of samurai. Mary, make your choice. Do you want to be a fortuner, a Rune Knight, or a uh, agent? And each of these has uh, alternate colors. I, I particularly adore this one. Had to choose the Fortuner, sorry, I can never be a tank. Fair enough, even though it's... I wouldn't be playing them like a tank, but okay. Uh, which portrait you want? Short hair or long hair? Long hair, all right. Uh, color. Which, which one do you want? One, two, three. All these are good colors. Fortuner is really... One? Yeah, that seems about right. Alright. 
Fortuner. I hardly know her. Uh... Alright, uh, Mary, you got a favorite, um... Japanese voice actress? <laughs> Among these options? <laughs> Pick the seventh one from the top. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, hey, same voice as me. We love the voice of Aoi Yuki. She's the voice of, um. Uh. What's her? Uh. Hibiki from Simpo Gear. I see you're able to get approval. I'm glad. We might drag you down at first, but they'll catch on quick, I promise. Support skills and buddy skills, yeah, yeah, yeah. So backup turn is a special kind of action that can appear at the beginning of each turn. It occurs once three members of your rear team have filled one segment of their standby gauge. Standby gauge fills partially after every turn. Their gauge fill rate differs based on class. Perform support skills on the backup turn. Start by, yeah, okay, so you can do a, uh, uh, like support effect. Basically the backup party doesn't fight, but they have a, um, They'll have like a support skill that can be activated. Effect of each member's support skills based on different class. Yeah. Buddy skills. Buddy skill can be used once a member of your team has filled their standby gauge too. In order to use buddy skill, touch a rear team member during the front team member's turn. So the front team member's action is normal and the buddy skill will activate when they act. Buddy skills often break enemies' buffs while applying debuffs to those enemies at the same time. Debuff effects differ based on which class is forming the buddy skill. Yeah. Marika, Marika, Kirikis from Pikachu. There's a lot, a lot of magical girls. <laughs> yeah. Uh, preliminary research gave us a general idea of the topography. Four seems to be up ahead through this mine shaft. Basically, become a breeding ground for monsters of the High Dragon. If you let your guard down for even a second, you won't make it through this forge. This is terrible. Monsters. Grr, they're here again. There's a large group of monsters coming out of the West Passage. Block out the surrounding area immediately. Yes, sir. Let's go, everyone. Sir. We'll handle the ones here. You go on to get to the forge. There may yet be hope if we can recapture the forge. These travelers from a foreign land, are they our saviors or maybe? Tutorial team switching. You press the X button and you can perform team switch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now register more members. Okay, so going to create an agent. Uh, uh, anyone got an idea for a name? good. Hmm. What do I, hmm. Sure. Ah, uh, name, 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 name. Uh, Music stops for this. Uh, hmm. What would be a good name? What would be a good name? I wish I had thought of names beforehand. Uh, what's a name I like? What's a name that's good? What's a, what's a good name? Uh, 
What's something I've been... Magic Knight, Magic Knight, Magic Knight. Oh, actually. I probably want a different portrait if I'm gonna do this, but... What if I name her after my beloved Ivy from Fire Emblem Engage? parties a little bit. Uh, hmm. This is definitely an interesting team, but they're also level one, so. Uh, let's swap you out to Ivy. Yeah, so what the first team leader Second team leader, Mary. Sweet. Okay. No, we're not gonna exit right now. We're gonna grab out the chest and then we'll exit, but... Also, we had... We picked up a knife earlier. Yeah. So we're gonna have to go get more equipment for everyone. Man of water. Just in case there's anything good in them. You know how it is. You need to make sure you're not missing out on any uh, free gifts. <laughs> we all learned from Pokemon that uh, people just like to hang out in houses and let people in and give free, give free stuff to people who break in. Broken my home. <laughs> uh, why? Thank you. He's so so uh, hospitable. See, more mana water is nice. Grab that last chest, and then we'll go back to Nodens real quick. Can I? No, I can't. Also, does this let me... Okay, it just lets me move them around. Okay, so you can't switch who's on what team, but you can move around uh, what team you're controlling. Right? I just need to remember what you can and can't do. Yeah, we'll join you guys in a second. I need to go equip my new friends. Tokyo. Tell me if I was evil fucked up. Of course, of course. I love evil fucked up women. They're like my favorite. No, actually, I think my favorite is still the, the sweet kind of loved by everyone type. Of. It's close. 
快適オフィス。Oh, I need this though. Yeah. Sky Lounge will have to wait. I'm going to. Thank you for your crummy energy bar. Just the the reverse. That'd be kind of funny. Sell for money. Sell old equipment. Sell old equipment. I got the gozaimasu. I got the gozaimasu. I got the gozaimasu. Why does this sell for so much? Blind is not that. Alright. Do I have any cool accessories I can get? I don't know. Mary, are you okay? <laughs> you good? Okay, and then skills. Oh, right, they start off with zero SP. What skills do you even have access to right now? Right now you have the ice sword, the lightning sword. Uh... Party heal, provoke, Dungeons to crawl. You ready? All set. Let's go. We can't afford to waste any more time.
Come on, Nagi Mimi. We can rescue people. <laughs> Hardworking man's been rescued. See, he's hardworking. He'll help. Let's kill some dragons. This is gonna go so well, considering, uh... We now have a level 1 rune knight. Uh, yeah, boost your own max HP. Yeah, Ivy's not gonna be doing much. Oh, that was such a good boost. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. We went from 35 to 38, guys. It was so important. Uh,. Maybe an R shield. The animations for Rune Knight as well are just like the best. Okay, like the the vibe of a fighter who uses a dagger and then imbues it with magic for a giant magic blade. That is so cool. Uh... Inflict a status aim on burn, freeze, or half weakness? Sure. We're just gonna kick his ass. Okay, don't attack Ivy. Okay, rest in peace, Ivy. It's not weak to hacking. You know, the thing that agents do. Oh yeah, revenge skill isn't even that bad because when you get KO'd, you still get EXP. How many level ups are we getting? That's a lot. Yeah, 25,000? We're gonna use the same fortune portrait. Just to channel, like, free slate. I. No, like, mixing and matching portraits is also really nice. Um... Okay, now they're level 10. Okay. I'm just kind of a purist, and I kind of like to, uh, stick to default portraits unless I have a particular vibe in mind, or, uh, don't like to look at the portraits, honestly. <laughs> Sometimes, some classes where I'm like, eh, I could give her, like, Agent's cool. Agent's a cool class. It's portraits, I'm, they don't speak to me strongly. They're not bad, by any means. I just, they don't speak to me. Uh... They are bad. <laughs> uh... I'm going through my number of sense class. <laughs> yeah. Again, like the, the one loosier DLC portrait, um, like the girl in the cloak. I used that on Agent. Um, it was very fun watching the, the little girl in the cloak just like <laughs> shooting people off with the guns. Oh, I didn't see you there. I forgot about the second frog. Just kill it. Yeah. Level up on Ivy. SPS. Oh yeah, I guess I should probably use these. Uh, gotta pop someone, Ivy. And... Pop 
some on Mary. Some on Mary, some on Mary. Okay. Mana float. Skills do not get two mana this turn out. Ooh, right, that's really cool. Uh, Poor card has a lot of SP, though. So I really just kind of upgrade her existing skills or get a little bit more SP and learn <laughs> this. <laughs> cool. Uh, this is a really cool skill. Nice right, some hacking stuff. You better pitfalls. I'll learn CPR. Ivy. I think I want to substitute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, we'll hold off to upgrade some of her magic skills a little bit. May, was there anything I wanted to learn? I could upgrade this, yeah. Push up. Oh yeah, like, Agent's thing um, is you can kind of get them to attack, like, a lot in a given turn. Um, like, you can kind of set them up so that they, between, like, Bush Trap, uh, they can do, like, a lot of cool follow-up attacks. Um, I don't know if that's how it's follow-up. Like, they can, they can get a lot of uh, sneaky hits in, basically. None of them died. Uh, more practice yourself. More whirlwind. I was kind of hoping you'd kill that one at low health. Trust me, the magic swords seem tame, but 
right now, but like by late game, we'll be the tank. The tank. I quotation marks tank class. Runite is not really a tank. It is kind of. It is meant to take hits. Uh, it is the DPS. It. She is going to be the DPS. Ivy is going to kick everything's ass. Just like when I played Fire Emblem Engage. Gosh, um... So Fire Emblem Engage is, uh... Fell Xenolog DLC just released, and, um... The final chapter in that is a doozy. Um... I've really enjoyed the... The Engage DLC a lot. But oh boy, is it, um... A lot. <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> Uh, is there a chest back here? I got... I got like two hits away from... Um, like two really solid hits away from killing the final boss on an attempt of the, the final chapter of the uh, Engage DLC. And then failed. That... that... that hurt. <laughs> I'm engaged, I've heard. Okay, maybe listen. It's... Okay. Kido, what Fire Emblem games have you played before, and which... What kind of Fire Emblem games do you like? Because <laughs> if your experience with uh, Fire Emblem is like, something like uh, Three Houses, Engage is not that. But if your experience is something like Fates or Awakening, Engage is very much that. I think I found the progress path by accident. Ba -ba, ba -da -ba. Then before awakening, do one round after you have the family chat out, no matter what else, please. It's good. It's good. I really like Engage. It's um, more gameplay focused than um, something like Three Houses. Um, Like, don't expect too much from the story, but, um, just the game feel and engage is really good. Lots of cool mechanics. Stop getting poisoned, Ivy. People tend to like the gameplay and which cares. Yeah, yeah, I'd probably, I'd probably agree. I'm not saying the story's, like, bad. It's just, like, not the, um... Uh... It's not why I would come back to engage. Though I did enjoy the DLC story. It has some problems, but... Ah, something behind the waterfall, of course. Oh, I say I enjoyed it in past tense as if I have finished the DLC story. <laughs> I have not. <laughs> Which is a million half I mean, yeah, fair. I'm not saying Three Houses is like <laughs> high storytelling. It's just the uh, more story focused. <laughs> yeah, no, okay, good. There's a reason it's been rotting my brain ever since it released. Turn around right at the last second. How could you? 
Now that, that is a dragon. <laughs> Goofy little guy. <laughs> Ow. That's quite a powerful uh, poison. Oh, miss, nice. Heal yourself. Heal everyone. Just slash them. Oh no, it's attack increased. Okay. Pop you. Go, break its, break its butt. Yeah. I think the ability to break buffs is really cool. Oh yeah, get the kill, Ivy. Get the kill. Yes. My wife. How close are they to leveling up? That's easy one close. You rescued 10 people. Incredible. Well, maybe we'll give the second team a little bit of time to shine. Gosh, the fortune earth really is so cute. It's like a neat idea. Plus, interesting that compared members aren't just saying that all the time. Yeah, I, I like it. Though I think the most interesting thing, thing they do with the, the backup party, backup teams, is when they have the party split up occasionally. Sound of a dragon is approaching. Okay, don't take too long. You've been hacked! Dragon's right around the corner, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, fine. You can give us a hack for store party mana instant. Sure. God, the music in this game! Stealing your life to restore more mana. <laughs> I'm 
No, you're, you're good. I'll put that on you. Oh, interesting. Can't use backup team skills. Hello, sir. Oh, don't want to piss off the dragon. You want to get it from behind, right? Okay, that wasn't quite behind enough. Oh well. Uh, put you to bleed. Hide. Get pitfall. Bleed him. No. Come on, bleed him. Oh god. That's probably gonna kill Mary, huh? Yeah, okay. Okay, uh... Yeah, Ivy, just do that for me. Uh... We need some healing, we need some healing. Just damage him a bit. Okay. Don't one shot Mary again. Okay. Another dragon's like coming. Like now. So we just attack, 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 attack. This is not looking good. No! Yeah, there's another one! There's another one! There's another one! Okay, okay, uh... Reduce physical damage taken. Uh... Try to hack everyone? Well, you just make sure this guy fucking dies. Okay. Okay, we're definitely gonna need to break you. Okay, please, please hit Shori? Sure, he probably take that hit. Okay, okay. Nope, sure he can't take that hit. Oh god. Uh, 
No. Just let me escape. <laughs> Damn it. Retry. <laughs> okay, let's be more aggressive. Okay, but first, I think we do need this. I think that's pretty important. Um... Receiving less physical damage is good. Lead. Good. Now I can drain you. I'm gonna set up a push trap. And if I want to do a pitfall, I'm gonna need ice. Search my deck for ice. Okay, don't hit Shori. Okay, rip some peace, Shori. Somebody you're still bleeding. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Don't do down swing. Okay. Okay. Dragging down. Swap teams. <laughs> oh, come on. It's right there. It's right there. Cruel game. God, this game's so cool. <laughs> oh. Like, hidden gem of hidden gems right here, right? Ow. Recipe side beat. As always, even with, um... Same as Fire Emblem Gage, Ivy is always dying. Oh, hi there. 
You are a green turtle, aren't you? Peace, green turtle. Cool. Chest. Poison aid all. Oh, gee, that would be nice to have a couple battles ago. Sasuga, indeed. So Sasuga. <laughs> oh yeah, SP. What skills are we supposed to... kind of like to get I feel like if I remember correctly I feel like a later level of jab makes you get more G from using it something like that I, I kind of like that you you finally have some SP to work with uh, gonna be upgrading that anytime soon it looks like power that up I want to learn that and then from here I guess I'll uh which one's which uh I'll just do a level in both. You knee break, jump shot. Jump shot, I want to say for jump shot. You went some fire a little bit better. We got three. How much was jump shot? A thousand, okay. Yeah, hold on to this. Oh, Mr. Dragon! <laughs> Critical God. Oh, that didn't do too much damage. Probably gonna attack Ivy, right? Yeah. Okay. Just kill. There we go. Uh, 
Okay, that's the exit. We have, in fact, come to rescue you. Oh, I mean, we happen to find you. We did not come here specifically to rescue you. That's not how this works. <laughs> Jab you. Uh, provoke. <laughs> oh, yikes. Just keep dropping the sword on them. Power bolt drop. That's weak to hacking. Great. That's gonna be so helpful. So we got him. Level up an IP. Nice. How many DZ do we have? Seven. Good. I love killing dragons. Dragons were meant to be slain, what can I say? See, it's funny when I say put you to bleed, because it's like, her, her other skill is to put the enemy to sleep. But uh, instead of doing sleep, I'm doing bleed. This team's definitely lacking a powerhouse like the other team. I kind of put all the powerhouses on the other team. <laughs> uh, well, I guess Ivy's not powerhouse yet, but... Oh, you're not poisoned. Or bleeding, or whatever.
Oh, I probably should use Ivy. Don't ask for it. Don't ask for it. One of you guys, negate, please. Negate his turn. Negate his turn. No. Okay. Okay, well, nobody died. Okay, good. Level ups. Good. Oh, if I pop the uh, SPFs on you, you can learn jump shot. Jab again. And I'll sleep. Give me more life. Yeah, I'm gonna have to reorganize these teams at some point. Sorry, sure, you're just gonna have to be poisoned. Try to hack them. Fire. So these things are definitely weak to fire. Like, look at them. Oh, come on. Does one hack an animal? Uh, we don't question it. You just do. I think that's the funniest part about the, uh, the agent is like, like they're 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 like hack the world. That's like the the thing about this game that I think is so cool about its classes. It's just like, oh yeah, you could just hack into your enemies. Even when they're like not machines, most of them aren't. <laughs> it's the rare enemy that is a machine. I don't know, you just do. You just do. It just works. Hello? Ba, 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 ba. Savage Dragon's fast approaching. Um. Jab. Ba. He said the agent throws some sort of. What? The machine pick onto them. <laughs> no, I think it's funny if they just hack into them. Just straight up. Again, this is the world where you step into a, like, computer simulation, show some skill at it, and they're like, oh yeah, you're ready to fight dragons? And then you are. Like, actually. <laughs> oh. and clearly the, the lines between digital and physical are very blurred in this, in this world. Sneak up on the dragon. Up. Oh, never mind. Oh, hi there, Mega Mouth.
Also really nice that Provoke is instant. <laughs> it's nice not having to worry about the, um, the enemy attacking before you change their aggro. Maybe. That's fine. We're just gonna quartetto you. Weak to being hacked to pieces. So we can make our own bento. Yeah, this should be good. Ba, ba, ba. Oh, no. I do not want to get a count in a fight here. Stop. See you later. Fight me! Actually, I think Dragon Thrones X make more sense the fight. I, they probably don't, but also, I want to fight the dragon. I meant to use maze. No. You weakened it. Okay, just don't kill anyone. Good. Wait, just realized we have a we have two maze. We have May, our samurai, and May, our agent. <laughs> Wait a second. Cat's <laughs> doing his favorite thing of causing problems. Maybe. That, you get attacking my headphone cord. 
Is that a brat? Do a catch you so true. Why do you resist lightning? You don't look like you would resist lightning. Don't kill anyone. Okay. Actually, again, with the way KOs work and the way uh, May's like revenge skill works, actually, maybe getting killed isn't that bad. We're gonna kill the land angler though, which is not great. Yeah, I kinda wanted to do more of them. against each other. Or I can turn them against each other, rather. Make hacked enemies attack each other. Hell yeah. <laughs> it attacked itself. I forgot they could do that. Oh, that means this is gonna hit anything though. Pretty funny. Taken, reduced. Gonna try to hack this thing. Throw down some barbed wire. Okay. 
Make it bleed? No. Okay, okay. Try to bleed it. I think I'm just gonna set that up. Okay. I wanna set up Pitfall. I don't have any way to guarantee that. I have lightning, and that's the one thing that's not part of Pitfall. Don't kill us. Where we do don't Okay, miss. Good. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Try to bleed it. Hide. Okay, good. Tip off. Jump shot at the start of the turn. Jump shot's good. Jump shot's really good. Okay, good. Bleed. If it bleeds, then we can kill it. Give me your health. I think Trump just killed it. Yeah. Good level ups. Who has the EXP up? You do. Supply draw, aka pot of greed. <laughs> Ow. Generating. Don't hit Shori. Okay, that's good. Don't hit Shori. Okay, we're good. Okay, now try to bleed them. Let's trap him. Throw out a pitfall. Okay, okay. Get my trap. <laughs> Try to power charge. Not gonna let that happen. I'm sure I ended. That's fine. We're gonna break that buff. 
just gonna shoot ya. Gonna shoot you real good. The way these frogs are like actually scary, right? Why would I aid the poison? I want to get rid of it. <laughs> yeah, another dragon. More to kill. Ivy, yep. Somebody healing on everyone. Ooh, well, she just starts attacking. Just do a, yeah, let's just do an exhaust quartet out. Should be more than enough. More healing for everyone. Let's do more one. Oh yeah, that just killed them out, right? Oh, I think we're at the end. The sound seems like we're not much further from the forge. You know, this dragon shouldn't pose a problem with your power, but don't let your guard down. I know. Now let's hit. Uh, oh. You what's wrong? It's nothing, Admiral. All members, prepare for battle. We've almost reached the high dragon mayhem. Press on. Escape kit. Camouflage. Not gonna need those. We've got a dragon to slay. 
Everyone looking good? Everyone looking good. <laughs> Look at that guy. So that's Mayhem. Yuma! Ah, uh, my head. Yuma, is this a side effect of the installation? Dude, Yuma's got an install super? Nice. <laughs> Can I leave this to you, Unit 13? You have my thanks. Hey, Unit 13! <laughs> this thing has got hardened to increase its defense against your attacks. If you want to beat it, you'll need to use buddy skills to break its defense. He's a yeah, yeah, yeah. I know how to use a buddy skill. Look at the enemy's life bar to see. Yep, yep, yep. We've been using those a lot already. <laughs> May have used Harden. Um, and I said Adna Hilo. Is that the name of the, the sovereign skill? It's Adna Hilo, or something like that. Jab. Uh, provoke. It seems to be lightning focused. I'm sorry, it's got lightning coursing through its coral. Ow. Uh, jab. Nice praise. Okay, good. Bleed. We like making it bleed. But don't die. God damn it. You're okay. We need to re
or your attacks. I think for you I might actually use a healing aloe. Was actually. Oh, we got him! Nice! <laughs> Dragon slain. <laughs> A level up for Ivy. It's kind of neat how the EXP scaling also makes it so, like, at this point, the, the new party members are pretty much already caught up. Obtain Mayhem specimen. To think you could defeat a high dragon all by yourself. You've helped us greatly, Unit 13. Admiral. You, you're awake. Are you alright? Yes, I'm okay now. What happened? Ah, right. Where's the high dragon? You needn't worry. Unit 13 handled it. They took down a high dragon all by themselves? Yeah. Six of us, one of it. I apologize for being useless at such a vital time. I don't know how I can make it up to you. Are you sure you're okay? You're quite kind, thank you. Your concern brings me relief. However, I assure you, I will never commit such a grave error again. Hey, you guys alright? Anchor, what are you uh. doing here? Rocks have been making a hell of a lot of noise, so I came to see what was going on. I left the rest of my troops in charge of the town while I was gone. Rocks were making noise? Oh yeah, you're not loose here, so I guess you don't hear them. All loose here have the power to hear the voices in the stone. That's how we're so good at smithing. I grew up this mine, so I can immediately tell if the rocks are acting up. Anyways, I can't believe you guys actually beat Mayhem. I'm speechless. Dude can just listen to rocks. All I've done up till now is look down on you. I'm really sorry. Please, forgive me for being so rude earlier. Real battle starts now. You can't be serious. Oh, yeah. Something I need to ask you guys. Hmm, that's fine, but let's head back to the village. You surely need to report to the chief. Oh, that's right. Okay, we can talk details once we get back. Interesting. Such meager experience. And yet, possessing the power to defeat a high dragon. Could these be the dragon hunters? Who could you be? Visitors from a foreign land, on behalf of all Caladian, I extend my deepest gratitude to you. You can get back to forging tomorrow. Hmm? Who's this boy? Wouldn't it be really funny if your entire party was, um, Lucier? Uh portraits, um, and then they describe you as strangers from a foreign land. <laughs> this is Cub. He's the last remaining blacksmith in the settlement. As I mentioned, almost all of our experienced blacksmiths lost their lives, lost their lives in battle. No one's left with any experience retired long ago. That leaves Cub as our blacksmith. That means the heart of Cladian lies in the forge. However, forging the dragon slayer will be impossible. About that, I am... Know where it is. What do you mean, Aegir? Wasn't the Dragon Slayer lost along with the former king of Atlantis? Well, that was only part true. I'd mind telling you guys the full truth, though. King Utrello entrusted me with it as he died. He said a hero would come along to slay Nyala. So where is it? Once I got back from the battle, I handed it over to Consul Talieri. With that, I passed along Utrello's request for the Dragon Slayer to be given to the hero. Oh. That's settled then. Let's explain the situation and go retrieve it. I don't think it'll be that easy. Talieri's always been skeptical of the Dragon Slayer's power. Plus, he hasn't listened to a word anyone said since the King of Trailer passed. On top of that, he insists that his suicidal plan is the only way to defeat Nyala. I just can't accept that. Shit, all these people are so quick to give up on living. Should never have entrusted the will of King of Trailer to that coward. I understand why you feel the way you do, Aegir, but you must calm yourself. I'm sorry I got carried away. I guess it's not like getting the Dragon Slayer's back gonna help us much anyway. What do you mean? 
Thanks, no ordinary sword. To bring out its true power, we need an expert blacksmith too. One with the will to protect this planet at all costs. Then that will can pass to the hero. That bond is really important. The sword won't have power if it doesn't hold the will to protect. Maybe that's why it didn't work before. I didn't respond to King Utrello's wishes. Anyways, it's probably pointless to ask people from the capital to help us down Cladian. Hmm. Blacksmith must wish to defeat the dragon, and the wielder must then inherit that will. Only once connection of those two will the dragon. Only upon the connection of those two will the dragon slayer's true potential be unlocked. But if we can find a blacksmith like that, maybe we can get the dragon slayer to show itself. There has to be someone in Cladian who can. No. Even separate from the will part, we need someone who can hear the voice of our Calcum. Only members of the royal family are able to do that. I sure as hell can't. There are none of the royal Lucia family who remain in Cladian. It will be impossible. No. We'll just have to. What about the castle? Do you have someone in mind? Yeah, the pretty lady. Wait, there's someone. I don't think she'd be willing to help us, though. If there's any chance of success, we need to request her aid as soon as possible. Who's this woman you speak of? The last queen of the Sea King of Atlantis, Queen Ulania. The Atlantis royal family is the oldest group in the whole Lucier lineage. The blood of our ancestors is rich in their veins, not like the people of Cladian. Forging something done only by the lower class nowadays, but back in the day it used to be a sacred task carried out only by the elites. Chief, what should we do? I doubt the royal family hear the pleas of the lower class citizens like ourselves. I'm sure she'll listen. Do you know Lania too? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are full of surprises. I think this is a glimmer of hope now. Please, Chief, let us negotiate with Queen Alania. You must go through Consul Talieri first. Be sure to honor his word. Fine. We appreciate the help, Chief. Come on, let's go back home for now. We will gather here again tomorrow before heading to the Royal Palace and negotiate. Ah. Sounds good to me. Hey, honestly, I'd completely given up on this whole fighting thing. But you lit a fire inside of me when you went and took back the forge from the High Dragon. I want to thank you for helping us. Buffy, I think you may be the one to wield the Dragon Slayer. Somehow I have a feeling that you're going to be the one who beats Nyala and saves this country. Is that weird? <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We're going to leave you behind if you don't hurry up, Unit 13. Hey! Don't forget about tomorrow, okay? We'll be waiting. Did a good job against the High Dragon. You've earned my praise, that's for damn sure. Allie and Julietta are thrilled, too. Mission's not over till you're home, though. Hurry up! Alright, so let's return home. And we did kill every dragon. Nice. Aker's a good boy. Aker's a very good boy. I like Aker. Plus, I see if guys beat you here. Go on ahead over to the war room. What if I didn't, though? What if I didn't go to the war room? No, there's not really much else to do. <laughs> I'm gonna do these, though. I'm gonna tell the project. Seems Unit 3 is more than just brawn. I don't remember what the reference room does. It's lore. I think there's lore there. Structure's not complete. Asuka from the reference room would like to express her thanks. And the Skylash. That's a side quest. Yeah, that's all about right. Sky Lounge! Oh, it's so cozy. Gosh. I would love to take a... <laughs> I would love to go on a date with someone there. No, construction tasks. Companies, but yeah. So we'll take that quest, but we're going to check out the Sky Lounge. Yeah, we'll have to just chill. It's a nice place! 
look at that. Welcome, with whom would you like to speak? Now, we can't invite anyone out for dates yet, besides our own party. Um... Which doesn't really accomplish much. There's not a whole lot going on here. Attack stronger. Oh, interesting. That was it now. A guard ring, too. Increases exhaust gauge fill rate. Ooh, okay. Hold on, hold on. I think I'll do that then. You can have the XP upper. You can have an attack rate. Okay. didn't fight enough to possibly get that to- yeah, no. Hooray, Unit 13! You guys are amazing! Seriously, such hard work earns you a big sloppy kiss as a reward. No thanks, Julieta, you're not my type. What a day. Not only did we get a high dragon specimen, we also got info on the Dragon Slayer. Don't be too hasty. Our chances of success are still only at a mere 50%. We will still have to convince the queen of a powerful monarchy to lend us her aid. I don't expect she'll be as open to persuasion as you'd like. <laughs> <laughs> so you think we should just give up on going after the Dragon Slayer? No, but it's not as though as that is our only option. Well, we can take care of that when the time comes. For now, let us hope she accepts our requests. Now then, it's time for us to head back to ISTF HQ. As promised, we'll be taking a portion of the Mayhem specimen with us. Please go ahead. We like to actually keep our promises, unlike some people. Stop that, Julieta. This mission was only success due to the cooperation of Unit 13, ISDF, and that boy, Ager. That's the kind of synergy I can really get behind. It was quite successful, I will admit. Plus, we got our hands on some precious Diz. Yep, yep. We'll keep working together and take down Yala. <sighs> You're seriously too excited about this. I'm heading back to the lab. Okay. Okay, okay. Well, that's it for today. Unit 13, ISDF guys, we'll see y'all tomorrow. Excuse us. Ophi, there's something I'd like to talk to you about. Please meet me on the terrace. Sorry, Yuma, you're not my type. <laughs> Alright, well, here we can, uh... You had a quest for me. Yes. Text begins to use the reference. Yeah. <laughs> you know he wants to fight. <laughs> uh, we can... We... Look, look, look. I... I firmly, uh... State that there's not much difference between a fight and a date. Apologies for asking you here so suddenly. I wanted to talk to you before I left, though. Is it okay if I speak about myself? 
a nice euphemism. It is. I am a man-made life form created by ISDF for use for the special task force. I'm sure you don't know how to react to that, but I need you to listen. I am nothing but a dragon-killing weapon that holds the data for all the world's combat techniques. My body is that of a young adult, but in fact, I was only created 12 years ago. Shocking, no? I expect that's also rather creepy. No. Thank you. However, I hold no discontent towards this destiny of mine. The reason for my existence is to kill dragons, and to become the strongest soldier alive. If I were able to achieve that, I'd have no need for friends or lovers. Hence, watching you continue to grow stronger and stronger, I... My apologies. I do not know how to express this emotion. I simply do not want to lose. The one who will defeat the seventh true dragon must be me. It must. That is how I feel. I'm sorry. I don't know what I wish to achieve by telling you all this. It's as though I cannot control my emotions when I'm around you. Apparently she knew what didn't know you most tell when said they are just like can't hold you <laughs> uh, pretty funny. Uh, at the present time I'm far stronger than you. That is a fact. He is just kind of a dude. Like, appearance wise like he's just kind of a guy. <laughs> like <laughs> You'd think a um the super run might like stand out a bit more, but he is just the guy. <laughs> I request that you refrain from assisting me from now on. Accepting aid from one who is weaker than you. That is just unacceptable, right? Perhaps I'm strange. You can refuse my wish, but at the very least, do not obstruct my mission. Are you overthinking this? Overthinking? Ah, not at all. That's complete nonsense. Anyway, what I wanted to say is, I'm not gonna lose to you, never. Well then. Good chat, Yuma. Yo, Unit 13. That girl's causing us all sorts of trouble. Get down to the entrance lobby immediately. You have two seconds. Was that in two seconds? Did I do it in time? Tsundere, but in a rival way. I, I firmly stand that rivals have some kind of tension between them that is, you know. <laughs> Damn, I already told you. I can't allow any unauthorized personnel past this point. Uh, can you call Miss Sally? I'm the president down then? I really need to see her. President? I'm sorry, but do you have an appointment? I don't, sorry. Then I'm unable to help you. No. Ah, uh, Ophi! Unit 13, is this girl an acquaintance of yours? Yeah, she's a good friend. I see, my apologies. Thank God. Thank you so much, Ophi. Ah, Chief. Greetings, you have my deepest thanks for your hard work as always. I'm well acquainted with this girl, so you may leave her to me. I, every time Nagamimi comes up, I do a different voice for them. <laughs> Probably gonna stay that way. <laughs> I see, the chief says so. Goodbye! Um. You want me to beat you to death, girl? I'm so sorry. Man, you caused a hell of a lot of trouble down here. What do you want? Better not be something like, oh, I just wanted to come for a little visit. Tee hee. Um, I'm actually here to see Miss Allie. Allie? What for? I want to become a navigator so I can help Ophi. Uh huh. So you've decided. Oh. Yeah, I want to try my hardest to be the best person I can be. <laughs> I'm just following Opie's example, though. <laughs> I also have another reason. I'm looking for my dad. My grandpa told me both my mom and dad died in an accident, but I've never been able to believe that. I remember, I can remember my dad's big hands patting me on the head. That's why I still have hope. Maybe he's still alive somewhere, but I just can't come home for some reason. Do you think that's delusional? You'll find him soon. When you say it like that, it feels like it could really happen. I was actually looking for him when I first met you here at 7th and Count Ophi. I remember hearing something about Nodens from my dad when I was little. My memory's pretty good, so that stuck with me all these years. So I thought if I came to work here, maybe I'd be able to find him. But that doesn't matter anymore. They didn't hire me. Want me to help you? 
I appreciate the gesture, but I'm gonna do this on my own. Yeah, I've got this. I'm not gonna run away anymore. <laughs> Thanks. See you, Ophie. Gosh, we love Mio. She's so cute. I wonder what's gonna happen with her. <laughs> Come on, you guys should get to bed. Get to bed, we shall. Uh, yeah. Make a bento. Nice. Hi there, baby. where we're gonna go. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> uh, got a good amount of progress. Got further than I expected. Mm, I forgot I forgot how quickly you get through the Atlantis stuff, so Yeah. Alrighty. Uh I guess just close that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you everyone so much for coming by. Uh, Kino, it's been good seeing you again. Uh, I, I, I am exactly as excited to play this game again as I thought I would be. It's, it's a good game. It's a good game. I like sharing it. It's, <laughs> it's fun. Um, yeah. Uh, I hope everyone has a lovely weekend. Uh, next week will probably be more of the, the stuff I've been up to. Um, some more Mary Skelter, more more of this. I'm very much enjoying this. Uh, hmm. I don't know. Maybe something else as well. We'll see. <laughs> Alrighty. Thank you everyone so much for coming by. Let's see if there's anyone. Uh, oh, yeah. Let's, uh, Let's send this raid over to my dear friend, Minnie. There she is. <laughs> uh, unless she's ending. Is she ending? I should probably check. <laughs> oh, no. I think she's just starting. Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, she's just starting. All right. All right. Goodbye, everyone. Good night. Love you all. Bye-bye.